What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of After Hours Podcast. On today's episode, we have Stephen Toth from currently Utah, but uh, he's he's lived in a few areas. He's from California. Uh, he lived in Oregon for a while, I believe, and he is just he's one of us, guys. He's a drifter. Uh, he's got he's got an S14 Zenki currently that looks awesome, slammed to the ground, works nine kit. Uh, th- this was a kind of a random one. Uh, Carl said, "I have a friend from the, the uh, Discord that's, you know, that can come, that's flying in for work, and uh, can he be on the podcast?" I was like, "Yeah, does he drift?" He showed me his uh, Instagram, and I was like, "All right, cool." Carl really undersold this podcast because I had a blast on this one. I think we all had a really good time. Uh, Steve knows a lot of people, and um, he's made a lot of connections over the years. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. This podcast is sponsored by East Coast Drift School. East Coast Drift School is a driving school focused on learning the art of drifting. Conveniently located at the greatest drifting facility in the United States, Raceway Park in Englishtown, New Jersey. Raceway Park currently has three tracks, so you will have a few options to choose from when setting up your lessons. Chris Knapp, who is part of the Raceway Park family, will be your teacher as he guides you through car setup and technique. If you are more of a seasoned driver, East Coast Drift School is also the place where you can get some extra seat time. Chris allows private track time with no instructing as well so that you can get some test and tune runs in before that big event or competition you have coming up. Instead of spending the night dodging the police with your boys, consider signing up with East Coast Drift School the next time they release their schedule. Chris releases the schedule on the 16th of every month through Instagram. Make sure to check them out, give them a follow, and shoot over a direct message when you are ready to set up a date. You can find them on Instagram at East Coast Drift School. This podcast is also sponsored by Automotive Specialty Wraps. Looking to have your car ceramic coated or wrapped? Look no further than Automotive Specialty Wraps. ASW is a company specializing in paint protection film, vehicle wraps, ceramic coatings, and window tinting. Owned and operated by car enthusiasts and drifters, their technicians have over 10 years of experience in the industry. They are located right off of Route 208 in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Other than window tinting, which is something we all need at some point, it was the ceramic coating that really caught my attention back when they reached out to us. This coating basically gives your car's paint extra UV protection while also making it shine. Wax only lasts a couple of weeks at most, but ceramic coating lasts for a year or even longer. Honestly, this stuff is like witchcraft to me. Julian came down here one day to explain how it works and how it compares to wax, and I was pretty stunned. They perform a full two-stage polish to the car beforehand just to make sure it's in perfect condition before applying the coating. As mentioned, they also offer window tinting and paint protection film installations. Now, everyone knows what window tinting is, but these guys offer carbon or ceramic window tinting depending on your goals with the vehicle. Paint protection film or PPF is a great idea for those new vehicle owners that don't want to watch their investment get littered with rock chips. Also keep in mind they are capable of getting liveries designed and installed as well as full vehicle wraps. From protecting your tow rig's exterior to full livery installations on your drift car, they have you covered. They also recently added mobile washes. So the way they're doing this is they will post a story, there'll be a link in the story on their Instagram, and you can click it where you will be able to enter your full address and it literally tells you the services they offer right there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, The options are just inside the car, just outside the car, inside and out, and then a full detail inside and out. So you click one of those, and then it'll also give you some extras you can choose. If you got, you know, crazy amount of pet hair in the car, if you want ceramic sealant, um, child seat cleaning, engine bay detail option, wow. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of options on here. It's actually really awesome. Um, they just called and told us about this, so I wanted to add this to uh, the podcast because this is this is like a f- something that I didn't know that Detail Places did, but now that I see this, we're probably going to use them ourselves. So, yeah, check this out. Um, if you can't get to a car wash or if, you know, if you're at work or something, I'm sure they'll be able to come by and help you out. You can contact them over at AutomotiveSpecialtyWraps.com and make sure to give them a follow on Instagram at Automotive Specialty Wraps. This podcast is brought to you by Faction Motorsports. We are an automotive performance shop located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Our shop is easy to get to from Route 17, 3, and 21. We are also only 15 minutes away from New York City. Faction Motorsports provides services that include, but are not limited to, performance part installations, suspension overhauls, general maintenance, engine installations, tire mounting and balancing, and custom four-wheel alignments with our in-house Hunter alignment machine. We also stock a range of performance products in-house. 
From AN fittings and gaskets to complete body kits, we try to stock as many parts as we can to provide quick shipping times for our website customers and same day pickup for locals. Make sure to shoot us an email if you are looking to set up an appointment or if you are looking for a part that is not up on our website. Our email is sales at factionmotorsports.com. We are also on Instagram at Faction Motorsports. Are we good? Yeah. Are we live? Just kidding. <laughs> These are now you. being pre-recorded. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I I I I kind of wanted to make it pre-recorded so we could relieve ourselves of that element. Now we can just have a real conversation. The only reason I'm okay with it not being live is because you always looking in at the chat. You're because you want to talk to everybody. These yeah. guys are in the chat. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of so these it's guys, your guys' fault. That's why <laughs> yeah. you're welcome. Speaking of these guys, tonight we have some guests. We have our main guest here, Stevie Todd. Thank you so much for coming. Yep, up. Stevie. Yeah. Stevie is a friend that I made through the podcast Discord or the Faction Motorsports Discord. If you're not aware of it, go check it out. It's on our link tree on our Instagram. But uh, we met through the Discord. Yeah, I was just lurking one day, and I was like, mm. <laughs> why did you? Well, the real real reason why was I got into a seto and you and Diego and everyone else would always post. So naturally I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to play with these guys. And we now, played a seto one time. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, are you a seto player? <laughs> no, not at all. And I'm so bad. Like I bought a really nice setup to make myself feel better. And I thought like, yeah, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's a hardware issue. It's a user issue. No, no, no. Well, it's Well, it's nice, first of all. You live in Utah, but you're from California. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. I get that right? Yes. Did yeah. I offend you at all? No. Okay. I'm, I'm born and raised dark white from California. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, back up. <laughs> and now I'm extra white living in Utah. How do you, which one do you like what? more? <laughs> um, honestly, I, I, California is home, but Utah is so it's what it's is clean. about it that you like there's no homeless people i'm not getting my car stolen Cat. there uh, we went to salt lake i counted like three homeless people the entire time there we spent the entire day there it's insane wow. i'm not stepping to, over human I've been shit to salt lake once yeah there's no human shit in the street i don't have to worry about where were rest. you from before uh i lived in the bay so i was oh. like 40 minutes from <laughs> why that's like yeah. that's like ground zero why yeah. did you for homeless people yeah. right 100 yeah. percent. and then i <laughs> I lived in Portland for a while too, and oh, that, yeah, 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 that was just urban camping. Oh yeah. well, <laughs> so you were, yeah, yeah. you're, you're, yeah. you're in the, so you're in the I, worst areas of the country. Yeah, for, as I far as homeless to goes. cleanse myself and just go somewhere nice and clean and a lot cheaper than California, just because it's, yeah. it's. Is it that much cheaper? We, my girl and I, were trying to look for a house because our lease was up, and I was commuting so far for work. I did like a hundred miles a day in my commute. I driving home, it was two and a half hours. It was so fucked. Two so, and a half hours? Yeah. And so... One way? One way, yeah. It was 49 miles. That's like as far as Carl drives here for the podcast every yeah. week. No, it's like one hour. But that's horrible. It was so bad. Me, I feel like one hour is the cap of like, okay, that's yeah. it's getting far. And so naturally I started like getting into podcasts. I ran out of music to listen to. So yeah. like this was one of them, Joe Rogan, whatever. Oh, and dude, so, so like, you're familiar with Yeah. Yeah, I would just shut Joe Rogan, off. Right? Yeah, this <laughs> is you, Joe Rogan. <laughs> That's and you, motherfucker. We got Jamie on the computer back there, <laughs> just googling everything, ready to yeah. go. Malcolm Camp, J Mo, give it a goog, J Mo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Let's... I forgot we have Ethan. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, right? <laughs> this, this, is my, this, is my, this is this is one of my good friends, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Let the Uber okay, driver. Okay, relax, 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 Fuck relax, relax. Say something. Hey. <laughs> All right, shut up. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, so how did you get into drifting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's hear it. So I got into cars in general, this illness, the from illness. my dad. It was a hobby of his, and, like, I've been around it since the day I was born. And uh, he did Trans Am in, like, 2005. Like, he did the, the Streets of Long Beach, San Jose Grand Prix. What? Yeah. And so... I, I was like 10 at the time, and I got my first introduction to at FD, like FD Long Beach. I, was, I think it was FD Denver when Reese Millen drove like the GTO. But I was 10, so I didn't really like absorb any of it. And then so what I, was, wait, what was your dad doing here? He's driving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had like, imagine a NASCAR that turned left and right. It was, it was a full like 
unheard full, of. Yeah, <laughs> it's <was kidding>. crazy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was like a full tube frame chassis, fiberglass, Pontiac Grand Prix body, 350 small block Chevy that made like 600 horsepower, had that my entire childhood. That's so fucking yeah, that's nuts. Cool. Yeah. What the? So, Your dad drive one of those rings? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> my dad did. Fuck no. <laughs> my dad had a Harley. That's all about it. That's fucking yeah, sick. That's, that's about cool. it. But I'm scared of bikes. Move that, move, be. Move that shit closer. Scary. I, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like you could hear it. Isn't it weird? <laughs> you can just like you can abuse that mic just bring okay. it towards you whatever you want yeah. to do yeah we frankie like... frankie really invested yeah no the pod these studio. are not these are sketchy those are good you don't like these the pod They're studio just... is nice now thanks man yeah, yeah we spent a lot of money we're we by tried we, I to, mean, <laughs> oh, Frankie. Yeah. We tried to fix the lighting situation, but it's still not done. So it's not bad. Are we, these different? We changed the lights to a warmer color, but yo, it is kind of a little it's yeah. kind of nice in here. It's not right. Moody, like, it yeah. needs, bring it down. Exactly. It's, it's like a, it's like a chiropractor switch. instead yeah. of a doctor. Installed or one, but it's uh, not working out. Nice. So we gotta we gotta bring uh, Brendan the electrician. Aren't you an electrician? No. Oh shit! <laughs> Just because I'm Hispanic, all of a sudden you pick a trade. Like he's one of them. Yeah, actually. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Really Speaking of racially motivated, motivated, let's get down to brass tacks here. What? what the fuck? When did you become the ambassador of the Filipino embassy and hired all of them? Well, that's insane. <laughs> at what point did you decide? Yeah, I'm employing just Filipinos. Well, I hired Chris, and I was like, this guy is amazing. And then I met Malcolm, and we were like, Malcolm needed a job. He was like a little, a little dog, you know. Yeah. I was what, like, what, what kind of dog? <laughs> what kind Malcolm, of dog? That's a good like question. Like a stray dog? Yeah, like what a stray dog. What kind of dog would Malcolm be? I don't know. Malcolm, Coach if you were Russell. a dog, what kind of what kind of dog would you be? A Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he definitely is not a Rottweiler. So I know that. Uh, <laughs> He's like one of those genetically modified Rottweilers. <laughs> he could be one. Of, he could be a Rottweiler that's a miniature one. Yeah. That's what he is. Yeah. Anyway, he needed a job, and I was like, oh, this guy's cool. You know, whatever. And then uh, I was like, I, we got to give him a job. Chris is, <laughs> Chris is like, we don't need to give him a job. I just told him. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't need it. Because I told Chris, I was like, I don't know if we can afford it. And he's like, well, you don't need to give him a job. I was just saying he needs a job. So if you need someone, and I was like, Nah, man, he needs a job. He's he fucking broke. Like, we need to get him a job. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, got him a job. And uh, the rest followed. They changed my life, both of them. <laughs> like, literally. They, they is Whoa. crazy. Do they changed my life, literally. <laughs> Chris, I don't think Chris still has taken a day off of work. It's been like five years. Dude, so I tell Chris all the time, I'm like, why, why yeah. don't you go somewhere? I told him. And then, and then he was like, today. What's <laughs> what am I gonna do? How? It's not in his DNA, no, to take a day off. Like it's not a Filipino thing, really. Well, Carl, I don't know. Uh, Asians Carl might have a little dude. something. Get that shit closer to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Asians work on holidays. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Carl Christmas. is white as Ethan. What's your What's your nationality, Ethan? Bro, I'm Taiwanese, and half pierogi. Like the like P A Dutch shit. Really? Mm -hmm. So you can churn oh. butter. Yeah, dude, I could turn butter. I can make pizzas. Uh, <laughs> what does the pizza have to do with anything? Enough, enough. enough. <laughs> On the topic of pizza, this guy fucked up. Oh my god! He oh my god, Frank! So bad, Frank! Mm. You got to hear this. I said we were going to talk about this, right? Yeah. Yesterday, this, yesterday was the first time I met Stevie. By you the way, you just showed up in Carl's garage with a twisted T in hand for him, and he like he looked at Ethan. He saw him. He's like, Ah, what's up, dude? And then I like popped behind Ethan. He was like. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> well, because I don't. You this is my first time meeting like a friend through the internet. Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean, we you look shorter in the Omegle. pictures. I'm not even gonna yeah. hold you. You look shorter in the photos. And I feel like I look taller in my photos. It's totally mine. Yeah. But I feel a little. He catfished. wishes. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is I'm like, okay, let's get, let's get Stevie some pizza. Okay. I got a good spot around me. Ethan gets put in charge of it. Mind you, it was like eight fifteen. Yeah. yeah eight fifteen. It was getting late. close. Yeah. Yeah. He calls it in. He asks me what it's called. The spot by my house is called Brooklyn Pizza. I live in New Jersey. <clears throat> and he calls it That's in. A bad sign already. We get. I go. We go to the spot. I walk in. I've been to this place a lot, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm calling. I'm picking up an order for Ethan." <laughs> <laughs> they go, "Huh?" And then I oh, look no. around, and on the rack where there's the orders, nothing. there's nothing empty. And I'm like, "Oh my fuck." Where did he call? Where did you call, dude? Ethan? It was another piece of joint 
in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, what? that Dude. was two hours away. Yo, I, it was, it was so fucked up. Did you call them back and go, yeah, Hell my bad? No, no. I my phone on. He Do had, not disturb after He that. had social anxiety the entire drive home. He's like, bro, they're going to call me. They're going to call me. They're going to find me. I would have called him back and be like, yeah, so uh, here's a story. It was, okay, by that time, it is now 845. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they're sweating, like, who's going to pick up this pizza? He ordered two full pizzas, chicken tenders, oh, and fries. No. This was like Dude. This was a good mm -hmm. way to close out the night for them. And they got ghosted. Dude, that the chicken. You ruined that good. family forever. Nah, dude, the takeout boy had some dinner. Bro, bro. their Come kids yeah, aren't going to see it. Yo, look yeah. how. You ruined is, that business. This, <laughs> is, yeah. this is how I know Gosh. Ethan's a good guy. This is how I know Ethan's a good Look how Look how immediately shamed he feels. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he look <laughs> a lot bro, more? Yeah. Yeah. His parents are going to ground him so hard. <laughs> He's so upset with himself. <laughs> with himself. <laughs> dude, I was like, honestly, sad. Like, I thought about it last night. I might have dreamt about it. But I woke See, up but if I you just called them and told them what happened, you would have felt <laughs> way better. I That's what I said. I just call him back and let him know it was a mistake. And he was like, nah, dude, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah. They're going to know, nah, dude. They're going to charge. They're going to find my Zelle. No, they're going to they find my phone number and no, then Zelle request And if they me. did, if they did ask you to pay for it, that's when you go fuck off by. And you yeah. But at least you would have tried to do it. Yeah. Is, what's, what's crazy is, as I said. Or you pay them. That's even, that, yeah, that's yeah. even crazier. That's what I said. Yeah. Uh, you, know how, um, you know how easy it would be for somebody to just bill you? <laughs> you called the restaurant. Yeah. My first inclination would be like, send that dude a Venmo request. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Right. You, you have that. the phone number. You could give it a shot. It's yeah. not like it's not like my first thing to do is to call a pizza joint using my burner phone. Yeah. Like, <laughs> wait, you don't do that? <laughs> is that not what we're supposed to do? You don't got two idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, we did get we did get kind of it was like a blessing in disguise though because yeah. after. So what did you order from the new place? No, no, no. everything I, that they I, had. I, under I was the hot in there. Lamp. <laughs> Every, like. It was they big. had they had basically like eight random slices, right? And I left, and then you know I was like, you know what? And I turned around, and then we walked in, and I was like, I'll just take everything you got in there. Yeah. And then <laughs> they laughed. Was, they laughed. They they said your friend's an idiot. Yeah. Thanks for helping the special needs. And then, and then, and then, and then Spanish, he like but... said something like you know para todo, which means I guess like all of it or something. And I, they just gave me all of it for like really cheap. Good. It was Did great. Chicken fingers. No, no chicken, chicken fingers. I, I, I really wanted Beggars that. can't Ooh. be choosers. Sounds so good. We had like buffalo slice. We had, I had pineapple and ham on my shit. Yeah, traditional margarita. But I will say those were made at like 3 p.m. Easily. Yeah. And easily. They just sat well, there. Well, also, you're not really in New Jersey when you're out by him. You're yeah. kind of. I mean, oh, I yeah. They were, they were pretty good still. Yeah. They're all right. Yeah. We, I wish we heated them up a little bit more when we got Malcolm, stop sneezing. We can hear it. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> dude, you're going to get fired. You're going to get sent out of the Filipino embassy. That's like the second strike already, yeah. dude. Uh, okay, so you start drifting in California. First of all, uh, yeah. how old are you? Uh, I'm 27. I had to think about that. Yeah. That's, that's how you know it's getting up there now. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting yeah. old. I'm almost 30. Yo, I just Malcolm. say I'm almost 30. <laughs> okay. Malcolm's a little under the weather Wait, today. so... Uh, but yeah, full circle, uh, I came, I started drifting in like the end of 2014 and, uh, a bunch of my friends that I went to high school with her older than me bullied me into getting an E36. It's like, okay, cool. I found a full dine in E36 from some Filipino guy. who's was probably Carl's dad. <laughs> yeah, and, maybe yeah. actually. Um, and it had every dine in part, had the badge. It was sick. Only downside, entire driver's side was Bondo. It was Bondo and Plasti Dip Black. I bought the car at 10 p.m. Plasti Dip oh, Black, it but it has so a bunch of... It I, has, is it, it Dynan or Dinan? Dinan, I, I think. I don't fucking care. I'll pronounce it what how I pronounce it. What is it? I would think Dinan. Yeah. Yeah. It is Dinan. Who says it? Steve Dinan, the owner of Dinan in Dine -in San Dinan or California. Takeout? <laughs> That's what I was thinking when you said that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, That's because I'm hungry. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, I ended up getting that car for a crazy deal. It was like three grand because it was totaled, and I didn't know, and I was like 17. <laughs> but yeah. did it drive and yeah, track it drove straight? Great. It had every dining part. It had the cool carbon intake. It sounded cool. Exhaust. The only exhaust in the world to make E36 sound good. And uh, That's cool. Is that, is that, <laughs> yeah. is that really... What what yes. makes it sound different? That it's a it's like a more throaty sound that doesn't sound like a VQ. Here's the thing though. The what I, does throaty mean? Can someone replicate this noise? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. It's not, no 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 not that noise. <laughs> the, <laughs> like chat is this gay? <laughs> can you replicate like what does that what does that mean like when it exhausts can, is throaty? I can I can Google it. Dude wait okay. no hold on no no I want to hear it. Give Come it on, a goog, Jmo. Like I feel like I, <laughs> yeah, I think I could do it. 
No, I can't. You think you can? The, that, oh, throaty, think can. that throaty, like, <laughs> <laughs> no. it's like a, like when you're about to throw <laughs> up. It's like, <laughs> you know? Okay, yeah. Like the dry heave. It's like a, yeah. Yeah, like post bar 16 AMF dry heave. Ah, uh, dude, post bar, I'm not dry heaving, brother. It's going to be a wet heave right out. Okay, this <laughs> took a left turn. I'm not. I, um, but yeah, no, I, I got that. And uh, <laughs> I started street drifting. Like all of, like I said, a bunch of my you. friends were older. They Love all started, they were all street drifting. Who were some of your friends that were older? Would we know any of them? Or would actually, um, would he know any of them? Probably. Do you remember Derek Sanders? And I say remember because he is very elusive on the internet now. He mm. went to the first Super D with a 326 power S13 that was like four different kits molded into one. Uh, Paul Wise, shout out to Wise Concepts. Good guy. I feel like if I saw the car, I'd probably know it. It was, the, it was Gold Sylvia. The, the name was, sounds really familiar. Car, Lil D415, just name dropping Ghost right now. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that, but his real he was, name looks, sounds familiar. His car was super cool. Now he's in the Lake Impalas and shit. And oh, that's that's kind of dope. Yeah. But... Uh, like him and a bunch of other people, uh, I, literally dudes I went to high school with. But I grew up like five miles from this one lane, six hundred foot cliff mountain road. Sick. Yeah, it was crazy. Nah, so, you were delivering tofu. Yeah, in my E thirty six, white and black. So, so that's you where you really like. So you were drifting that car. Yeah. Yeah, and I beat the shit out of it, and uh, <laughs> like I, I. I backed into my friend's streeting. Like, I threw the car, hucked it, and my friend went to do a, a solo lap in this industrial complex, and he spun, and I'm cooking third gear out the turn, and I oh, see no. him. He's just parked, and I'm like, oh, fuck, he's a sitting duck. So I try to, like, maneuver around him, and 17-year-old me is like, just throw the car harder. What's going to happen? Huck the car, and my back just immediately so, plows the front of his car. So and you then, guys are 17 years old. No, they were like... 20, 21. Okay. And like four or five years older than me. But but you I, were 17 street. Yeah, I was I was young. You yeah. were cool. Like as you just fuck. got your license. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's so cool. You're probably hot shit, dude. No. You're, <laughs> no. no. Now did they did you learn how to drift <laughs> on the street or Yeah. It was kind of like they bullied me. They said, yeah. you lead, figure it out. And like I would ride with them and kind of like understand the physics of it and then try to apply it. And uh, we had this little turn right off the freeway called the S turn, or I think it was thrust turn. Uh, but sick. yeah, it was, it was <laughs> this like uphill left hand, right hand S turn, super sick. And uh, one side was just a hill. So I parked it up there quite a few times, I hit the curb. <laughs> one time my buddy actually jumped the curb onto the freeway. It was crazy. It was like- When you're saying wait, freeway, what? like so- You know the highways you guys drove to hear like the turnpike. Yeah. Is that like your freeway? It give me like a level of no, traffic. No, it's like eh, kind of, yeah. Cuz like, like if traffic I if wise, you like people on the road, yes. Yeah, so, like if you jumped a car onto the middle of the turnpike, but this was like I would personally be alarmed. 11 <laughs> o'clock at night. And okay. this is like full missile E36, no bumpers, caged <laughs> Bondo. Stripped car. It yeah. sounds like a fun time. It was great. Yeah, it was a good time and it like Sounds sick. Yeah, we used to so Full circle back, that road that we used to drive, it's called Cal. Calaveras, Cal. Uh, it was closed for like four yeah. years. Yeah, you, they you were, just blew that spot uh, up. It's been blown up. Okay. Matt Field blew the, blew the spot Damn. up. That's, <laughs> that's, well, that's where he Damn, shot. He's a, he's a Formula D driver. You can't say that. No, he filmed he, that, where that uh, like one lane road clip was in his vet. That was that road. Oh my! God. And they put yeah. it, they put it out. Like, yeah. So yeah, what, they, they shut the road down. Yeah. And, they shut. Yeah. They paid money for the yeah. city to shut the road. Like they did it professionally. <laughs> he legitimately blew the spot up. But we also did it very unprofessionally. Matt Field used to. Pu I'm not gonna say this anymore. <laughs> I'm not we'll gonna save it for the Patreon. Yeah. Save it for the Patreon. So save it for the Patreon. We're cutting this <laughs> right yeah, in yeah, half yeah, when yeah. we start to get a little bit more. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. yeah. And then but, we'll. we'll but yeah, so I I did that, and then uh, I decided I wanted to do my first event. So naturally, I did it very last minute. Packed all of my shit in the E36, like six spares, all my tools, a jack. Drove straight up to Medford at 2 a.m., which is like an eight-hour drive. What's Medford? Medford? You mentioned it the other day. It's it's like Grange, but with pillows. It, pillows? Yeah. Pillows? It's, it's, there's, the runoff isn't going to destroy your car. It's safe. Are it's, they like the Japanese, like, big-ass foam? No. No, when I say pillows, like, I just mean it's, like, way safer than Grange. But okay. 
the vibe of Grange. Like the driving, the the big entry first turn. Mm. It's not big mm. entry, but it's a fast like fast sweeper first turn. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I and drove, where is it? Uh, Medford, Oregon. Oh, okay. Affinity Circuit is what it's called now. Oh, we drive it us all the yeah, time on a that's on a. Yeah, we have played it on a yeah, set And they, that's where they do special stage northeast or, oh, yeah. or northwest. Well, they got they got this um, they got that other track that Diego was talking about that we were playing on. Remember, it was a uh, uh, played like eight different tracks. I know, like dude. Minutes. I don't fucking know, dude. When we, <laughs> yeah. when we play when we play that game nowadays, well, they're all real tracks you guys play <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Has anyone ever thought of just making one? Yeah, all the time. People yeah, do people, it all the time. Oh, okay. people so there are like fake yeah. ones that. There's pretend. We role play on a set. Oh, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it's it. Borderline man. lurping on there. We're cosplaying drifting on a set. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. It's so like weirdly. It, we still haven't done that. It would still be a really good idea to have Frankie try all that shit out. Yeah, I'll try absolutely. It out. But it's How cool. You, have you ever used VR? I don't know. I don't think so. How do you not know if you've used VR? <laughs> Have you ever put goggles on your face and it's augmented reality? No, definitely not. Okay, then you haven't. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> definitely not. Why are you? Wait. Definitely not. You but, should try it. I mean, if you get motion sickness, you're just going to I don't gonna think puke. I get motion sickness. He does. Sickness. Okay. Yeah. But Why? I know you said you. I do. Like yeah. crazy. Which is insane because you're always on VR. I like driving that much. She <laughs> just like throws feeling. up while he's playing. I just, I'm like, yeah, I you, can't drive my car. This is the best I got. You so. like perpetually feeling like shit. But you have to. You don't have to use VR though. No, right? it's just when I use it, I get more of a sense of like. Realism. It's almost like I have my helmet on. Because we were talking about this the other day. When I'm street drifting or anything like that, or when I would street drift, which is rare. Um, I almost don't get the fuck you. <laughs> um, I almost don't get the same. I don't know. There's something about when I put my helmet on and I have my gloves on that I'm like, okay, I can do this pretty much to the maximum as much as I can. And if I get hurt here, I know I'm under the umbrella of, okay, this was the right place to get hurt. That was like the opposite for me when we were snowboarding. I what? put those goggles on and all of a sudden I fucking was even worse. Well, your goggles were <laughs> dark as hell. First time oh, you okay. went snowboarding? Uh, Pretty much, yeah. Dude, I mean, you I, was I snowboarded when I was like 12. Decided but. to go full Sean White. Yeah, dude. Hell like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sick. Yo, he sick, looked right? really cool, yeah. man. Like, I mean, he's got the yeah. hair for it. Like, I got yeah, dude. I had my my friend Jesse hook me up with everything, and he he's like the style king on the on the mountains. So. Yo, Hell guy yeah. had so much cool stuff. His his snowboard said "Welcome to the Bronx." On dude, it. My, <laughs> my shit <laughs> was sick. That's stuff. Yeah, it was dude. cool. All but, you needed was like a big ass like. 4X jersey, like dude, a Michael dude. Jordan jersey. I feel like, I mean, yo, he bro, had been like steezed out. I feel he like was. people saw me like on the chairlift, and they're like, yo, this dude's about to rip. Yeah. And then yeah. I get this out and I just veteran. fall on my fucking yo, ass. I feel like because no one now, no one now wears like fully black attire. Frankie had like black helmet, black Frankie jacket, black pants, black like board, Reaper. like yeah, for it looked like a whole ass shadow. On yeah. <laughs> Everyone was like, what's wrong with this guy? Like it was beautiful, sunny day. Frankie's here. I look gangster as fuck though. <laughs> And, and like he's just just teasing out a little kid like oh look at this and shit. <laughs> I remember I was putting everything on. Princess looks at me. She's like, "What the fuck?" And then everything's just really bad. You look mad cool, yeah, yeah. bro. Was mad fresh cool. out of two thousand four, dude. And like sick. he's literally just like. <laughs> and I had the skateboard helmet on, dude. I have a video of it somewhere, but it's a. You don't. I just don't picture this, what you're wearing right now with. Yeah. The whole no, it's polar opposite. Literally, what I'm. This is what yeah, Frankie wears. This is what he yeah. looks like. Even it was 95 fun, no, degrees. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'd go again, but I mean, you your liked arm. it. Dude, I got pretty. Were you sore? Pretty worked. Yeah, yeah. I you, was. Uh, I was sore. Yeah, I did. I didn't know I could get sore like that. Yeah, you used <laughs> muscles you haven't touched. I in did years. not know they existed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look how cool he looked. You see him? Damn, with the white frames. Damn. Welcome to the Bronx. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> sick as fuck, dude. He was so cool. Matrix that day. board. It's fun when you get it. Like. When you get it for it's a bit. It's drifting, dude. And then you bust your ass, yeah. and you're like, and you got fucking kids going 90 miles an hour behind so you. So are you the guy that just picks up anything and is good at no, it? No, definitely not. But you just hopped on a board? I got lucky with this, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I, think was, I don't know. I don't think that's a <laughs> lot. I, Malcolm said I was doing pretty... And Jesse said it. He's like, it's weird. He's like, you're really good at some stuff, but the other stuff that you that most people would be decent at, you're not good at. That's what he said. That's yeah. called Because I asked him. Hit stop. <laughs> that's not me. That's Malcolm. I, I asked him. I was like... I, I asked Jesse, I'm like, how's he doing? And he's like, yeah, yeah. The worst part is you just ditched him. 
<laughs> like you know, oh, yeah, he did. He didn't. He's like, oh, I'm going to teach you everyone. No, I I spent I spent. I'm glad the he first didn't run stay with, with us. Oscar, Erica, yeah. uh, Princess, just like for 20 minutes. I, I was like, I'll do this. And then, you and must then have after blue that, eyes. after that, I was like, okay, I he just was... got to like keep doing runs so I catch up to them again and again and again. And like, I told, yeah, I mean, you should have did that. I had a great time. Yeah. Okay. For me, it was like, uh, I told Jesse the same thing. I was like, if no one was on this mountain right now, I would get this down. In yeah. like an hour or less. You were scared like that? 100% much? that someone was going to nail me because I did not Ooh. have control. You know what I mean? Like, were, you, were you a Jerry? You were the Jerry mean? of the day? Like in the way of people? Like, yeah, yeah 100%. Yard That's why I was like, I was like, fuck this. Like, yeah. I, I don't think I was in the way because I was very aware of where I was parking my ass when yeah. I fell. But like, it's just, you can't learn when you're just thinking about like 12 year old kids ripping behind <laughs> yeah. you and using you as a clipping point, yeah. which they're doing, yeah. you know? And it's, it's, like, it's a game to them. <laughs> What's so yeah, funny? It's a game. Imagine yeah. him catching his edge because a 12 year old just like 12 year old kids. <laughs> That's yeah. what happened, probably. <laughs> because, like, I. What, how, what fell? How, uh, 12 year old Give us a play by play of the no fall. I know you. you know I know you have oh, you're to talking have remembered about when you the big it. fall. Yes. Which is the one where you were like, uh, did I just rip my asshole from my ass well, to my actually, head? It was or? Kinda, no, it was kind of weird. The The most painful fall <clears throat> was not even – I should have just been fine because I have been. Do, I was doing that bunny hill the whole day, like the day before. And then mm. we went on it again, and all of a sudden I'm like slowing down, and I just move a certain way, and I just fall back and fucking slam my head on the ground. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck even Jesus happened right here? Just got CTE in the knee. Yeah. Literally. Did you give yourself I, a concussion right away? No, I mean, I was good, but I was like, yeah, I hit my head pretty good. But I'm okay. Jesus. But I was just over it by that point because I was like, to me, it was like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I could carve. Like, I could get on my toes and heels. But just knowing that there's kids going 90 miles an hour behind me. Yeah. And I'm still trying to learn. I don't want to carve in front of someone. Yeah, you, know I mean? you were more worried about your spatial awareness than yes. anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm trying not sense. to get hurt. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't want to hurt anyone fuck else. Because, like, a lawsuit from a 12 year old yeah. kid's parents coming down the mountain. Yeah. Not going to look good. Yeah. And, and something about going straight. And, like, catching Just, speed. Yeah, going fast you, you, as fuck. I wasn't you, feeling that. You yeah. can't yeah. really. You can't think you, about that, though. You, right? you can't stay flat on it, in my opinion. That's what Jesse kept saying. You have to consistently be thinking, oh, okay, I feel the board going like this. Let me make an adjustment. I yeah. feel the board going like Which this. Which I think let me I make was another doing. Adjustment. It was just something about I'd start going down straight, and I'm like, oh, I'm going too fast. Yeah, you can't be. But, like. That's you pulling the handbrake. I would try to. That's you him know, manjing the straight. Oh, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, yes. That's how it yeah. felt. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Like, would you nah. really. That's kind of how it yeah. felt. Yeah. But this time it's encouraged. And then yeah, don't, scrub don't manji the fucking street. And then Princess is like, hey, you know, we we did good. We did good. We can get down the mountain. <laughs> and I was like, nah, Princess. Like, not. She's like, no, we're good. We can get it. I was like, yeah, we can get down it on heels. <laughs> Back and forth. That's yeah. I'm like, Yo, yeah, we could get down the mountain. But, but not a lot kind of people could do that. What kind of mountain were you hitting? Was it? Was we were it at Strat. Well, the, well, I don't know what in that Vermont, means. I don't it was like a here. larger. I, mountain it was a good mountain. It was coast. a good mountain for the East Coast. I think it was a yeah. good mountain. Do they but, like section it off? Bunny Hill, Diamond, whatever the. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, you brought <laughs> you us down. Jesse think... and you brought us down the what was it Blue Trail or whatever. I just I in my opinion, if you can remotely get down the Bunny Slope, you're done. Stop there, and then move to the actual mountain. That was me. I could I could do that. Because if if you're if you're just going down this bunny slope again and again and again and there's people around you where it's everyone's learning, everyone's moving at a slow pace, you getting up and falling in that short amount of time, you could just be try, like at least in my head, the mental roadblock is a lot like more of a hurdle that you want to jump over. You're like, I gotta get down. Yeah. Mm. So Yeah. The blue trail works like that and it's a lot more grade. And a lot, and it's a lot the more blue of what you're is going what to. Broke me though. Yeah, it, unfortunately, it didn't work s- for Frankie. So. That, when I got to the bottom of that, I was like, "I'm done." Yeah. I was like, "Come on, pussy!" I'm like, "Fuck you!" Yeah, yeah he really. <laughs> as soon as Frankie said "fuck you" in that tone, I was like, yeah. "Never mind." He actually might get hurt because yeah. the blue trail was just like. First it was, of all, it was ice. It's long. Yeah, and that one was fucking. Yeah, bad, really so that was the first ice experience, really. Yeah. No thanks. But watching Jesse hit the rails and everything was sick. Dude, Dude you I, guys should come to Utah. I would. I would go. There's it's. You Apparently, snowboard or ski? Neither. I moved to the Dude, best. What the water are you moved to the Wait, we've been talking about this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've been I, talking I, about like nice. you're a pro. What right over fuck? my head. No, what is wrong with you? This best is... snow in the entire world 
not to do any of it. Wait, you don't Why? snowboard or anything? I'm gravity deficient, dude. If I tumble, I it's a fucking tumble. Why do you know so much about snowboarding, though? Because uh, everyone everyone that I lived with in Portland would go every weekend. Wait, you lived in Portland, too? Yeah. He talked about the homeless yeah. population oh, yeah, in Portland. I remember. Remember. Yeah. I, had a, I, had I a visited week. Portland once. I kind of liked it. Me, too. It was good and bad. There was a lot of cool parts about Portland. And... Uh, like, I don't know. The drug problem got really bad there. So now like it's just your a drug sh- problem? <laughs> yes. What? I was going to say, when I went and, like, you know, you see the homeless people on the street or whatever, I'm like, honestly, this doesn't really bother me. One, it does. Because I don't live <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, yeah exactly. But and like, two, if, if because I'm like, kind of, I don't know, it seemed kind of cool. Everyone was like, okay yeah. with everyone, you know? But yeah. then after COVID, I don't know. Exactly. So what I was moved different. back to California in 2018. And from 2018, it just like, okay. Oof. Yeah, and it like it was bad then in 2018, but yeah, it got so much worse. Like it, it was ridiculous. But but then I went to Seattle. Oh my god! And I was like, oh yeah. Now you have wet homeless people. Well, no, it was like you're on the highway. You look over, and the entire, <laughs> the entire grassy part of the highway, fent zombies, is just complete <laughs> fent zombies. Fent Dude, it's zombies. all homeless people. Yeah, in, un- intense. Just because you're Imagine, homeless though doesn't mean that you're a drug addict. Okay? No, no, no. We saw. Ethan and I saw a fucking dripped up homeless dude. Like, what do you mean up. dripped? Up? Bro had foamies. Down. Bro had foamies with a champion hood, like a crisp champion hoodie, Crispy. on the exit getting here. Well, some people are just some people choose to live like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like, or he was down on his and luck or something. Especially when you're in that those areas where the government is like kind of promoting it, almost aiding it. Yeah, yeah. So You're it's giving like giving them money. It's crazy. Like I, w- I don't know. I went know. to Portland, and the first thing that I noticed about Portland is the air smells a little different. Like what? <clears throat> it smells like a uh, sour. Not sour, <laughs> like but high it, altitude. Yeah, no. The the like it. I don't know. Actually, it might Crisp? be anywhere we we travel where you notice the air is just slightly different. No, I different. think the problem is the air is just murky as fuck here. Yeah, so yeah. You got fresh what air. What would? Oh, what did you think when you yeah. got out of Newark Airport? Bro, this shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And I like, like I, I, I have like family that. here. I used to come out here every other year. And for what? Family. I had I had my whole dad's side of the family grew up here. Oh, right. So right. my dad. And, uh, like, moved, Tom's River. Yeah. My yeah. one of my uncles lives in Tom's River and the other lives it lived in New Egypt and now he's in the Which Pocahontas. these are all in central Jersey. It's very, very far from yeah, where New we Egypt? are right what the now. Fuck is that? New Egypt it's is over the here across the pond. Bum <laughs> fuck nowhere. About? Like he had two acres. Of land that backed up to 200 acres of forest. Tell them, tell them what they used to do on the property. That shit sounds like it's in PA. <sighs> yes. No. No. Nah. I mean, they used to hunt <laughs> off the prop, like from his house, off the yeah, property. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's it's sick. Super, it's super white, but it's crazy. The dynamic of New Jersey is like that's weird, right? The most Donald Trump supporting people to Newark. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, kind of. But the thing is, it, and it's a democratic state. Like yeah. It's, I don't, like, I don't understand it. I don't understand even politics. even right now when like the crazy shit is going on. You yeah. think like, oh, it might turn. Everyone who knows politics is like, no, the state's never gonna yeah. go red. So it's almost pointless to even vote if you want to yeah. vote for that. I don't know what we're talking about right now. Same with taxes. Don't do taxes. Don't. <laughs> I'm vote. voting independent again. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that every time. I don't even know. You're who voting the for Kanye. I'm voting for uh, Kanye yeah. West. Yeah. Let's get him. Hell yeah. Bring is a he brother actually running? And I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope not. I don't know. But yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this weird. is uh, New Jersey to me is just like the surrounding four counties. <laughs> that's it. That's like it. Bergen, you just Hudson, live in a, you Passaic. live in a bubble. Well, is like, what it is. Yeah, that yeah. that's New Jersey. Everything else is like PA or New so Jersey. Yes. What do you what do you consider Atlantic City? Just Florida? <laughs> that's I mean, it's sure. <laughs> sure. I don't like know Florida <laughs> actually. I, I'll give you that. The 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 coastline. You, we could take the coastline, sure. Yeah. As You'll what? take Snooky and Jersey Shore. Yes, yeah, we'll take all, all right. that. That's fine. That's, but I don't know if you consider that. A we'll take it all the way down to Cape May, but I'm not taking anything west of that. Yeah, west where we like, fuck around. Yeah, literally yeah, I everywhere love we go it down there. <laughs> Isn't that just rural Jersey? Yeah, it's, it's just it's Woody New Jersey. Tree, it's, but it's very like completely tree. different. Yeah, it's super pretty. Like I love that yeah. kind of landscape, and I'm like, I. Consider. It's nice that you can just like, like you're up by the city here. But then you can just drive down there. Like literally, we drove down there and we went off roading. Like it did not yeah. feel like that's, you were. So in, that's in how it is for me in Utah now. It's kind of crazy. Like I've only been there for I think maybe six or seven months. But we live in a very like urban area, an hour, not even, not like even, thirty yeah. minutes away in the middle of bumfuck. You said Island. you live in Salt Lake City. Uh, I'm like thirty minutes north in Ogden. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm I, yes, Salt Lake. 
Because I mean, Utah seems to be a really awesome place. It's super cool, and it's I, it's booming now. It's yeah. it's kind of crazy because everyone there says when I tell them I'm a Californian, they hate you. Don't you California my Utah? Oh yeah. And I'm yeah. like, brother, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with you. What do they mean by that? They, they mean don't turn it blue. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring your pot here. Uh, Actually, don't they love pot there? No, it's no, kind of I crazy. Think weed is like illegal, right? You have to get a doctor's prescription, and yeah. they prescribe you like. 5,000 grams a year. It's an annual prescription that you technically go get filled from a dispensary, but they're a pharmacy. It's really weird. It's a weird fucking concept. Hmm. We could go down to the store over here. Yeah, California, you could, you could, anywhere. But you're not even like a pot guy, so no. it doesn't even really I think that's like the one thing about Utah everyone says, though. They're like, oh, you, weed, weed is not legal, and it doesn't seem like it's really ever going to be. Yeah, but like, they know. drink. They get hammered over there, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, the people that aren't Mormon or Jack Mormon, yeah. I, I work with a lot of people from Utah. I can't confirm on their views or anything like that, but one of the first things they complained about here was that I think he said uh, he tried to buy beer at oh. the gas station or a convenience store. They couldn't do it, so he had to go to a liquor store. Yeah. And then apparently in Utah, if you go to a liquor store, it means... It's a state-run liquor store. You're paying the state to get hammered, which I think is sick. Like being a degenerate, <laughs> being a degenerate fixes roads. Fuck yeah, dude, I'm down. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like a duty free, like at the border, like that. What? That's what I'm picturing when you say no, a state no, 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 no. So like, liquor store. Imagine, imagine like a Bevmo or like what the Wait, fuck wasn't is this a the situation Bevmo? in Vermont? Malcolm? What are you talking about? I think yeah, hard, hard liquor in Vermont is owned by the state. Give yeah. it a goog, JMO. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, like they sell it. Yeah, so like the, they're it's, making the it's profit on literally it. Literally, the fucking they're going the to Costco lettering, and buying it. The lettering on the building is state liquor store. What That's the it. Fuck. It's crazy. On my way to work, right next to the fucking <laughs> Utah Highway Patrol, is the nicest state liquor store I've ever seen. So it's crazy. So <laughs> first, <laughs> first, first, you outlaw alcohol. And then, then you tax it. Yes. Then you just sell it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's that's it's, how it works. Yeah, it's crazy. But that is it's, crazy. It's, it's actually cool. kind of nuts. Yeah, a lot don't of talk people... too loud because New Jersey is going to start fucking around soon. Yeah. Yeah. Don't guys, do that. You guys, are the ass backwards one here. Everyone that everyone I told when I was moving to Utah, they're like, "Bro, what about like drinking?" And I was like, "I'm not that heavy of a drinker, but it's, I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Like, I can still get beer at a gas station. I can still like." Yeah, well, it seems pretty normal. Yeah, it's yeah, it is normal. But like, I think now it's more normalized because there were like crazy laws. Yeah. recently that have been overturned like apparently it used to be a fucking felony to swear at a cop it would be <laughs> verbal assault like Whoa. like any yeah. swear word at, what if, if I, you hit if, him with the g willikers that you were mentioning earlier <laughs> God, I mean, you'd probably get Stop like a, the poppy a, a hard slap on the wrist. Go talk to your fucking priest or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what they do in the Mormon churches. <laughs> what but the fuck, dude? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Other than that, it seems pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. And like pretty much everyone there is Mormon, whether you think it or not. Uh, and so that was another thing people warned me about. They're like, bro, what about the Mormons? They're going to they're gonna ostracize you. And I was like, okay. Like... <laughs> Because I'm a little bit darker than them, they're gonna ostracize me, and Wait, I don't really? believe in the book of Mormon. I got a friend who lives in Utah, man. Like he loves it. No, nah, it's super cool. Like they honestly, they're the nicest fucking people I've ever met. <laughs> it's insane. Like my my girl and I were moving a couch into our house like the week we moved in, and uh, my neighbor just saw us struggling in the street, and he just picked up one side of the couch, didn't say a word, didn't ask if we needed help, and I was like, who the fuck is here, this guy? Here, somebody would... Walks in, I bro, would in personally California, think, I would have gotten robbed. That couch would not have been I would robbed. Be like, I would be that like, get off, this is my couch. couch. Yeah, bro, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, what are you doing? No, that, no. I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm that guy. I'm that guy in the neighborhood. You're not helping. helping people, I promise you. On the, you're, on, you're, in my look, neighborhood? You're standing at the end of your driveway like, look at this fucking idiot. Uh, no, That's what I, I help him in the neighborhood. I do. Bullshit. I even say Yo, you do live in a white-ass neighborhood, though. Like it's, it's nice. nice. I it's nice. Now. This is <laughs> this is, this is kind of be too much t TMI. I zillowed your house. And I know you fucking <laughs> did. I, I know you did. It's you know how I know because you sent me a house that was a town over, <laughs> and you picked the most expensive one. Not even that was the first one. And I, I was, was like, like, bro, Carl wants to be white so bad. <laughs> I'm fucking. I, God bless America, brother. I love it here. Get that milk, it really bro. is. I love it, man. Wow. And like, what's funny is, 
getting to talk to our friend group and stuff like that, you you really get different views. You get the huge dynamic of so people like crazy. people from Georgia, like Atlanta. Well, and look at look at us. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. Yeah. We're talking. I, didn't, I did not. Not you. You're from Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> not you. <laughs> I'm too close. <laughs> yeah, you don't count. <laughs> you, this, this is you guys. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm I'm saying um, it it really the internet's crazy. Yeah, no, having that kind of uh, that kind of uh, what what dynamic? The fuck do you even call that? Yeah, I guess dynamic. It it, it helps a lot. Yeah, because then you're able to like kind of analyze situations in a completely different way. Yeah, absolutely. So. How's yeah. uh, drifting in Utah? Yeah, that, that's what I was going to ask. It is god awful. Really? <laughs> it's so. It is like. Oh, I thought it would be pretty good. No? So, like the one track we have is UMC where they do FD, and it's all just like FD Pro Three cars. There's only one track. Yeah, which sucks. But like, there's yeah. a bunch of tracks in the vicinity, and by vicinity, I mean like states away, six to <laughs> ten hours. Yeah. yeah. So like, if I'm if I'm gonna drive a different track, it's a it's a weekend. So, but I don't know. It's it's not not the best. Yeah, not the same. And uh, what's the style of car? Because your car FD looks great. Pro Three. Oh. Just oh. imagine like helmet bash bar. <laughs> like oh. yo, Frankie you make... goes Gaga for those, dude. He loves. Them. I'm sure. I know. Yeah, I saw yeah. his car out there, brother. Dude, brother. looks like a Kansas car. style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's Kansas style? It's the American Kansai style. <laughs> What is Kansas that? Style. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, dude. Just oh, jacked wow. front helmet bash bar. That is not no my car, bumpers. but yeah. No, okay. I know, I'm, I'm fucking with you, dude. Okay, so Kansas. like uh, the uh, to me when you def- when you described all of that, I picture it's just the bad. American like, missile. Imagine, yeah, exactly. It's like well, yes and no. What? Why? Because missile Why cars could no? look good, but they could, yeah, they do. When missile it's a, cars look good when it's a car that looked like mine, and then they turn into a missile. But I'm, yeah. I'm talking like yeah. Timu Turbo E36, no bumpers, duckbill wing. They sell turbos on Timu. Oh, I don't know. No, they do. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> They're like 160 bucks. Quan, get your boy. The <laughs> Wuhan <laughs> War Whistles. That's what's on Chris's car. Yeah, the Wuhan War Whistles. Yo, it's yeah. been working pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like really good. Damn. It might have started the COVID outbreak, but probably <laughs> a little had a Wuhan bat wing in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chris, Chris pulled up with that on on uh, on Sunday, and man, dude, in the sun, I that car still looks so fucking good. It won't for long. Why? Once I start drifting again. When? Oh, he's gonna T-bone him. I don't know. No, we're not. I know we no, just we're met, not. but I'm gonna ostracize you too. I do. You see the bullshit I'm dealing with right now? <laughs> you have no fucking windshield. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, I Look. got the windshield. Don't worry. Yeah, no, I saw it. Yeah, but like, it's out there. But you also saw everything else. Yeah, and this I'm is trying even, to hurry this, is this your shit first along. Time Trust as well. me. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Right. I'm not dragging my feet. Malcolm knows. Been... So, like, what's your timeline? I can't, Actually, I can't have save one. It, save it for the Patreon. I can't have one. We'll save it for the Patreon. Don't worry. Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Those Patreon, Patreon members, if you're not a part of the Patreon, I know it sounds like we're money grubbing right now. But That's because we are. We need help. <laughs> yeah. It's been a but, rough time. There's no more Trump bucks. <laughs> no, but the thing is, the <laughs> Patreon is awesome. Yeah. No, I was going to say, like, it's because of the Patreon. Yeah. I don't exactly know how many of you are there or what you're how contributing, many, but Carl doesn't give a fuck. 42 people in there. Th- that th- Those people are the people that are making this shit happen. Yeah, nice. literally. So yeah. I do want to say thank you yeah. to all of you guys. And, because And thank you to Eddie for coming here and filming footage. He's he's very focused on the Patreon footage. If like he's Eddie trying, wasn't filming, no one, including myself, would know what the fuck is going yeah, on here. Yeah, that too. So yeah. these two, three, four, uh, Jesus and Chris, are working so fucking hard in here. And Dude, it's, Mondays, it is really hard. To, Mondays suck now. Why? Like, real bad. Why? Because I have to film something every time. Darn. Dude, so We bad. love watching it. I know. Yeah. But, like, it's so annoying. I'm like, and honestly, what's the, annoying the, about the it? I hate filming. The well, production of it, it is so have fun. nice. We do, but. Try to have fun with it. Oh Fuck. Oh, God. Yeah. It sucks. But we make it good, and we make good videos, so. Better or worse than 9-11? <laughs> <laughs> Patreon. That's that was a question. Patreon joke, and you let one out, and we're gonna have to talk about that later. Don't you monetize my humor? <laughs> is Monday really that bad, or is it a first world problem? No, uh, yeah. it's a first world problem for sure. Yeah, but, but, I mean, I, I, I love what I do. So Mondays yeah. have never been like it's never been like oh Mondays here. It's usually like okay, fresh start, let's go. Yeah, but now it's like I have to be on. You yeah, because it's. Camera day, yeah. and it sucks that it's Monday. You know, Dude, what I mean? but what? it's whatever. Wait, question: 
Aren't you the boss? Yeah. Change it to fucking Tuesday. Eddie can only work. <laughs> Eddie can only work here Monday. <sighs> That's right. the only reason. Fair. All right. All yeah. Right. Trust me, I would have. I would have changed it to Friday. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Because then it's like, okay, end of the week. Maybe I can be a little happier and fuck around. But bro, I Monday, it's like, okay, you better have all your shit planned Friday. Yeah. Because when Monday comes, you know. But also, Monday is also like fresh start to the week. Everyone's calling. Oh, I need this. I need that. And so I'm sitting there doing everything else. Yeah. And then it's like, I'm supposed to do a video. You're playing receptionist and the actor Dude, at the same everything, time. Yeah. Everything. We, we don't have a service writer. So Dude. I'm a service writer for all the cars in here. Dude, what's Carl doing? <laughs> Fucking jacking off at home. I don't know. Seriously, just on jerking Tuesday. off the VR porn <laughs> no, in Discord, yeah. dude. No, but if I could well, afford Carl, he would be here. It was if, if it was on. I was gonna say if it was on like a Friday. You guys did those. I was gonna say why don't you have me do them? What the fuck? Yeah, you could definitely come here and do a video. That'd yeah, but great. it would have to be on Friday because that's. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. I'm, I'm working trying to like. From home. <laughs> I'm trying to get. A, <laughs> Yo, fuck you. <laughs> this dude does not. I don't. I mean, he, nah, he yeah. works. He works. He, he's, he's, I do. I, I don't know when. I, work, I don't know when he works, but I work hard. If you're saying he works, then I'll get better. Eight thirty. Tap in. Yeah. <laughs> He'll work for 15 minutes and just be on Discord the yeah. rest of the day. I, I don't know. Working. When. I'm literally working. working. Me and Malcolm yeah. look at each other like, does this guy work? Because yeah. it'll be like fucking 10 o'clock on a Tuesday. Yo. Hey, man. I don't know. Rent's paid. <laughs> he's working yeah. on his IS. So he's doing something. Whatever, dude. I, I just work hard and I know how to you know have fun. Only fans. That's what he's doing. Might be. Toes mm -hmm. all day. Hell Patreon yeah, content. Baby. But yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, relieve Malcolm of filming duties. Yeah. Because he's got a lot of shit going on too. So. Dude, he really be yeah, doing he a lot. He took over your social media, Eddie. No, or, Malcolm. Yeah, a hundred percent. From, took from over. the New Year's Eve resolution thing, he's just been doing your social. Malcolm, can you, well, can you press dude, the... it was before that. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Where's yeah. The, can you give Malcolm? Yeah, there you go. Give him, give, dap him up. Yeah, yeah Malcolm's yeah, yeah. been doing social media for before that. Like occasionally, if I if I want something posted and Malcolm's not doing it, I'll just do it myself. But we don't really. It's hard, man. It's just a lot of shit going on. Like you'll do everything, yeah, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Fuck, I didn't, fuck, I didn't make you know that what it sounds post." Like? You need more Filipinos. You do, yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. But then you got to pay them. <laughs> Filipinos, you do. In. Add them to the business model. Yeah. You do, you do. Isn't that? But the okay. <laughs> I will say though, that even though it does seem like it's a little dark right now, not dark, but. Even even when ages. we're talking about being overworked and doing this and doing that, when we were outside, me and Malcolm were having a conversation, and he was like, yeah, but I'm here and I'm having fun every day. Yeah, I'm glad he said that. He really said that? Yo, he wasn't. you weren't even around. Malcolm, you really said that? Because Carl, I, you were supposed to keep that shit confident. He had a gun to his <laughs> head. No. And then he was like... On opposite. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Fingers Prin crossed. Princess tells me that anyway, so I already no, know. No, no, no. I but. and well, psh, man, we were out there having a conversation because I'm like, dude, I'm t gonna turn 29. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, no. As long as everyone's <laughs> having fun and getting paid what they want to get paid. And, yeah. And then I'm ha I'm happy. But yeah, it would be nicer if we had another hand. But the thing is, like, like I said, Eddie's helping out. Eddie is helping out a lot. Like, he is going above and beyond. He's working when he's not here. He's trying to get everything ready, the videos, all this. He's trying to get out of his day job and work yeah. here. So if he can keep doing what he's doing and we make more money this year, then, yeah, he's going to be here. And that will be our media Instagram person, which nice. would be so nice to have because God knows I don't want to do it. So, What and do you do for work, Stevie? Why are you... Yeah, why here. are you here right now? Uh, for work. I'm here for work. And this is We actually to... flew you in on our own dime. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said fly me out. We we we, we, we outed ball ourselves. In, ball in. <laughs> yeah. but, now, uh, so I work in uh, automation dimensioning. So what the fuck? Yeah, it's really what? weird. Yeah, I didn't really are you building the terminator? That. What is yes. I'm getting concerned. Yeah. 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 What is uh, that? I you did not tell me that. into your brain. Oh no. Yeah. That's actually why. He didn't tell me any of this. No. Um, so I essentially go to warehouses and the shipping and receiving, I build entire conveyor systems that weigh and scale boxes. And it's really fucking That's niche. so efficient. Like this yes. shit? Like where it's like. You want to see our shipping department? <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> where is it? You see that table out there? Yeah. That's the shipping department. Ooh. Shipping and receiving. That's crazy. We we might need your money or <laughs> yeah, <You're> hundred grand. <laughs> yeah. yeah Why don't we just make sure one falls off the truck yeah. or something? Yeah. Nah, but that's cool, but, dude. That sounds efficient as fuck. It's okay for it's, those companies. Yeah, it sounds like you're rich. I'm not. <laughs> so you just set it up, or you like 
Yeah, uh, maintenance it and like. Oh, okay. So you're basically teach, a mechanic. Teach for... people how to do it. Yeah, I worked on cars for a majority of my life, and then uh, I just didn't want to anymore. I my car ended up becoming a piece of shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> I never wanted to touch it. That's every mechanic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so unfortunately. I, Frankie. <laughs> I just wanted to switch career fields, and uh, when I was living in California, I used to work at Bart, and uh, Bart was super cool. It's like, what the hell's a Bart? Light yeah, rail. what is that? I just it's, know about Bart Simpson. It's it's like a train that takes you all around the Bay Area. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. It, yeah, it's like the New York Bay subway. Bay Area Rail Transportation? Rapid Transit. It'd be oh. cool if it was a yeah. rail. You should look up BART activities on Instagram and just see all <laughs> the fucking tweakers and just shit that goes on. Is it like the equivalent of, of uh, what's the subway Instagram account? Um, no, I was thinking, I didn't know about that, but I was thinking about the, uh, the don't, doesn't San Francisco have a app where you can see where everyone shit on the ground? Probably what? they pay someone to pick up shit in the city. Thank God. Human shit. What? Human yeah. shit. Human Thank shit. God. They have Wait. an app and it goes, it's I don't know what it's called, but it was like it's on Rogan. That's yeah. they, and they said something about like if you see shit, you mark it on the app. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't know why. So is bad. this really a thing? Ethan, are you laughing like you know what this is? <laughs> no, it's not, but I hope that person gets paid a decent amount. <laughs> like, holy yeah, shit. You're imagine, a good person, bro. Dude. Stop being a good person. Yo, imagine picking up a hot dookie someone left on the ground, bro. <laughs> yeah. A homeless shit. Like, that's <sighs> that has to be watery. Here's, oh, okay, stop. okay, okay, okay. We're just, I guess, going to segue into this. You have a big dog. Let's say you have a big dog. That dog takes a shit larger than any human will, and you pick it up. Yeah, you throw true. it away. True. Not but in San Francisco. Why? The, what I'm worried about is what I'm picturing my own shit. Little, and, like, after little. that pizza last night that was cooked at 3 p.m., yeah. <laughs> I would be hating to pick that up. Yeah, but you're homeless and you're not eating forty dollars worth of pizza from three p.m. Dude, you'll be shocked. Somebody yeah, actually, throws out yeah. a whole double quarter pounder with cheese, Ooh, no pickles. Bitch. Oh, that sounds mm. good. God, I'm eating it. That's crazy. Uh, no, but the the human <laughs> shit problem is a real thing in the city. Hmm. It sucks. Like I would avoid going there for a multitude of reasons, but like that was just another factor on the list of things I didn't want to go to San Francisco for. Do you follow Derek on the bicycle? Do you even know who that is? It sounds familiar. He's a legend around here, if you don't know him. (laughs) But one time, do you remember when this was on Derek's story? There was somebody who was... I guess if you... He's a Bronx dweller. I guess if you do a... uh, I guess if you did a wall sit on the tire of an FJ Cruiser and just rained on it. Wait. You remember that? You're saying he did this? No, no, oh, okay. no, 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 hey, no. You know Derek is a cool, cool guy. guy. He he's shit a really on the cool. Side of an FJ he's cruiser. a really cool guy. <laughs> I don't think I would, remember this. But but somebody took a shit on an FJ cruiser, and I think he recorded a video of it. And I was just like, Derek, what the fuck am I looking at here? Derek's basically like he sees uh, the craziest stuff every day. He's a truck driver now, but before I feel like he was just always outside. What's that Instagram? Where it's like New York Wildlife. Or what is New York City or something like maybe some, this is New York City or something, and it's like some like meme page where, where he's literally the guy that's sending all those videos. Just no, he's not. All, but he's he, the right place, right time guy that yeah. just sees everything. He sees crazy everything. shit. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. That's wild. But I didn't know that that was a problem. Like yeah, the poop. Oh wait, problem. wildlife New York City. What's that meme page, Malcolm? Wildlife New York City or what is New York City or something? I have no idea. All right. We're not in tune with that, I'm sure. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Nah, see, because this is pre-recorded. And if you're enjoying this at any time, make sure to drop a like in the Spotify, YouTube, or whatever you're listening to. Um, Good job, Joe. New York Rogan. Wildlife. Uh, what That's fuck? it, I think. What? Maybe you're right. I've been saying it ten times. Yeah, what maybe you're fuck? right, dude. Maybe that's it. That's Give it insane. a goo, J-Mo. You're Yo. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay. I got to ask, because we're talking about homeless people, right? What? Hundred million dollars. I'll find it right now. If if you were homeless, do you have you ever thought about how you would go about trying to survive? Killing myself. No way. <laughs> no. You had no. to survive. What are you going about? What what are you going to do about food? Honestly, become the bushman. You would go live in the wild? No, 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 no. Scare people and pretend to be a fucking bush. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> no. Dude, it's oh, so yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> Criminal. Yes. <laughs> Ethan, give me that. That thing's looking this? lonely. Yeah. Get to it, yo. Can't find this Thanks. fucking page. I'll split it with you. 
take a sip first. Let me get that backwash. Damn, y'all about to kiss? I mean, we've been sharing this water. I know. I grabbed it. I was so fucking parched. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give you no water bottle. There's water no. bottles in the back. You of gave truck. me a lukewarm Dunkin' spiked iced tea. <laughs> you saw those at my house yesterday. Actually, let me get a sip of that. Got real weird, real quick. I know. Frankie's trying to look Way for to this. Way to kill huh? the vibe, Carl. Sorry, I, I'm not. Okay. You, you know how Instagram goes. You start scrolling, and all of a sudden, I did want to ask. Love, you know everything. I did want to ask what your plans were while you're in Utah. Now, are you going to like start drifting? I saw you're working on your car. It's a part. Yeah, I blew the motor up back in June, and I knew that I was going to move in like winter, fall time. So I was like, <laughs> mm, I'm going to save this problem for a future. Studio. June. Last June last year. Yeah, and I. Lost so much motivation. I I blew it up at like the fifth time I drove it as it as it was K eighty uh, and it's like, dude, I just spent so much money doing this. What the fuck? How like, do you remotivate? What, what would you tell somebody who was like me and you? What would you tell them? Like, you, what would you want to hear from somebody? You add up all the money you spent on it and say, this is a fucking pile of shit sitting in your garage that you spent this much money on. Do something about it. So every time I open the garage, I look at it and I'm like, God damn, I suck. And so, then you start getting angry. Nah, and then you get mean. Angry, but and then you get But then you it. start working on it. Yeah, and then you bring like, up wow, a picture of his car. This Malcolm, is this is pretty satisfying. Pretty sick. It is a nice Thanks. car. Yeah. I would you believe me if I trade if I told you I traded an E thirty six for that? Straight trade. Well, is it, it, did, it did it look like that? Like when you Um it? it was wrapped purple and had just destroyed origin. Streamline. That's Stevie's car. That's pretty sick, Look at the Works Nine S14. Big ass yeah. chin looking ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mega chin looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> the real what is, S14. How it go? Zeki. What it look like, Ethan? What it look like? <laughs> <laughs> it look like that, bro. And it's low. Yeah. Sure. It's got Ganadors now. And uh, why is Bryson commenting on it? Works not, yo, Frankie. You what's would up love with the sorry, Carl. What's up with the rear overs? Is that is that an that's, over center or a stock? stock? That's, that's stock sick. metal. It's just rolled. That's sick. Yeah, rolled. That's pulled. Isn't that's it's pulled and pulled. Flared. That's uh, Dude, that looks... a ten and a half plus zero. Well, congrats what? on having a good on a looking stock car. body. Thanks. Yeah, I can't run anything bigger than like a two thirty five. Where was yeah, that picture taken? That, that was like two miles from my house up this mountain road in Morgan Hill. <laughs> Ethan slow boy. Yeah, that bumper looks like it's gonna. It, yeah, I just fit it. That's no zip ties, just Pro Shop Noble. Shout out Pro oh, Shop yeah. Noble. Those like bumper guys. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, the bumper buddies. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dude. There's one thing though. What am I gonna say right now? I don't know. What are you gonna uh, say? No idea. No idea at all. No. Hold on. Hold on. Don't. 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 I need to look at this for a second and be like, what is he gonna say? Come on. Is it the sunroof? No. 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 The sunroof's popped. It's correct. It's pretty obvious. It's not the wing. And turn signals. Yep. <laughs> what are we doing? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, dude. I, What's wrong with them? He needs Cokies. Turn yeah, signals. I do. I yeah. do. Oh. That's what goes in there. Yeah. Zanky yeah. Works 9 looks so fucking goofy. No, but you're supposed to put the Cokie, Cokie ones, right? What's yeah. up? You guys got some? Mm, actually, maybe, but I don't think so. But maybe. There's, I had a bumper where it required me to get Cokie turn signals, and guess what I did? N- Nothing. No I signals. just ran no turns. Yeah. <laughs> Which would still look better. I than thought that. about well, the yeah. problem with that is there's just two fucking tabs that look like yeah. fangs that st- it's so yeah. dumb. And I thought about cutting the them, but that, that's when you gotta commit. Yeah, exactly. So I just You could make that side marker a blinker. I could. Which would be kind of cool. Okay, let's but, see another. So that's picture. what it Ooh. looked like when I first got it. Uh and it was NA see that and that to me, like maybe missing a couple more panels, would look like a missile car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I thought I thought <laughs> Damn, it was a missile okay, car, Frank. Yeah. and like it was on MB Drifters, which uh, I got six of them when I traded the car, and yeah, like I don't know. It was, Wait, so you're KA still? Yeah, I, I got it NAKA, and then over I think twenty three to twenty no twenty two to twenty three KAT. And oh, it is KAT. Yeah, now it's KAT. I did okay. the full Tomei everything. Tomei did you have cams. like a high mount? Cam- uh, yeah, PBM. Because oh, okay. I was looking at the other photo. Yeah. Like, I just, for an, an abyss of a grill. Yeah. 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 But so that's you, why I love front mounts, just yeah. just because of that. That's the only reason. You went... But um, I lived in California, so if I street drove that car with a fucking a Johnny Dang grill intercooler in the front, <laughs> I'm a brown too, stolen car immediately pulled out. <laughs> Is that how it goes over there? 100%. I've been pulled out of my car so many times. Like, I used to daily my E36. What? what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, pulled so, out like GT? I not need like, this. Not like yanked out, but like, so I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle right now. Like, it's a stolen fucking car. And every time, 
But Wait, like they think it's stolen. Yeah. What the fuck? Bro, it was bad. I think it was like six or seven times. And what? it even happened in my Tahoe. I had like an Owen Tahoe. It was kind of pre-runner style. And uh, it was my girl's birthday. So we went down to San Jose. And uh, I was literally looking for parking, making a left turn. Damn. Dude, your blinkers are fucking your I car know, up. dude. Just, just call take me them off. Wow. Oh, I like that picture. Dude, the paint job is good as hell. That looks great. Mako, baby. Shout yeah. out. I'm going to blow the spot up right now. Sunnyville Mako. Tap in. If you live in the Bay, <laughs> that's the spot. <laughs> That That's, shit looks good as hell. Honestly, yeah, Somebody's, for single stage. Someone said nega chin. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it for real is nega chin. Yo, wait, Jack Dunlap yeah. commented on Please go Jack to a takeover. Dunlap. Yo, that, yo. Yeah. What's Actually, the, did you see any takeovers over there when you were um, in I, the like, bay? I didn't actively pursue seeing them, but, you know, you would see them, yeah. Would you also just randomly run into Balmer? No. Oh, damn, that car looks good. Man. I don't actually don't remember. It. It Sorry, Palmer. Cool I don't works. remember if you're from the Bay or not. Are those Ganondors for real? Yeah. How much you pay for them? Don't worry about it. Ooh. Okay. Dude, I would say he, the same thing. He's an automation Dude, guy. you need to get rid of those blankets. <laughs> the second you Dude, land. Dude, all right. All like right. when you land there. The bumper is hanging in my fucking garage right now. Like is my whole front point? end is taken off my motors oh, out really? of the car. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely well, is supposed to happen. What are you doing now? A little. I'm just going to. So I had a Tomei head gasket and it blew because the radiator, the upper radiator hose just ripped. I yoked it down too tight and mid lap, I immediately saw like 240 degrees. Oh. Yeah. And so, like, it wasn't even a real part issue failure. It was just me being a fucking idiot and horny to drive. <laughs> so, like, I went out. So, saw, so did a lap. 202, which is kind of hot for K's. And I was like, all right, I'll let it cool down. Came to the pits, drank a beer, went back out. It was like 160, 170. Drank a non alcoholic beer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and so I went back out. I did a lap and I was like, cool, it's fine, it's normal. Did another lap, 220. And I was like, oh, fuck. Okay, well, oh, you're not too, not too, f- too far. You're, you yeah, could have no, stopped. I mean, yeah, like yeah, you're, it, that's you hot for a K. Self-inflicted wound right now. Yeah, you yeah, hundred percent. Shot myself in the foot twice, <laughs> and so I heard the hissing noise, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll tighten all my clamps, check it, make sure, topped it off on coolant, did it, and uh, I went back out. The car was cool, and I I did another lap, and then I just saw like coolant everywhere, smoking, two hundred forty degrees oh. mid lap, and I was like. I'm going to kill myself. This sucks. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's just been sitting since then. That so, a- KAT, so you had a, what kind of turbo was on it? Uh, Tomei M7960. So the whole Tomei kit that they Full, made at yeah. one point? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I don't know if they make that anymore, right? Yeah, I think so. But and no it, manifold. No, those are NLA. I searched for like three yeah. months trying they're, to find one, and I gave up. I as got far as I know, they're being re... There was, they were supposed you know. to drop in like the beginning of 2023 yeah. and... and Tomei. The thing is, that part is a, I'm 99% sure, that part is a Tomei USA part. Yeah, it's Tomei Arms. It's junk. Yeah. Like, it's just a cast log manifold, but. Yeah. It's so nice. what manifold it you cool. got? Uh, Future Fab. It's tubular. It You can run it bottom, top mount, whatever. You make a lot of money, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't you, Scooter? <laughs> Ethan, you know. This guy's a KAT guy as well. Ethan, oh, really? Talk about your. Oh, he's cool. been yeah, I'm dying. To, I'm yeah, trying to build been, a KAT. This is the guy S14 who bought the outside. racing line oh, really? kit yeah. from you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Which oh, we man. left here. Oh, shit, yeah. We did leave it here one night. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he w- this is a, he's actually a nice guy. And I tell heard him, you made it fit him. pretty Dude. well, too. I was so excited to get that fucking kit, bro. I was scratching out my neck like a crackhead. <laughs> and he was <laughs> texting me like, <laughs> like, yo, please, don't, yo, did you actually forget it? And I'm like, no, man, I would never forget it. <laughs> yeah, we went back and got it. We're out to yeah. dinner. It's like 1130. <laughs> We are minutes from Frankie's house where we eat. Yeah, I literally just w- walk out of the restaurant. I'm and uh, we were like, well, no, I was like, dude. Malcolm was like, I ain't going back to that fucking place. I'm yeah. gone. <laughs> I'm like, All right, Malcolm. Well, I guess I'll go back. But I do want to say that, and you can attest, you've seen the pig, Stevie. Ethan's car, he made that Origin kit fit so well. Yeah, yeah. Like and normally, origin fits like dog like shit. Like bad. Yeah. Like bacon. It was a little leave. wonky when I put it on. What did you do? But... What did you give us <laughs> the right. process? Give us the breakdown. You wake up in the morning. What happened? So I found my <laughs> auto collect storm brackets. Get close. Get close. <laughs> Come on. Rest in peace. Auto collect storm brackets. Wait, you have like, those? Yeah, dude. I was like, oh shit, dude, a fucking relic I found. Like the bumper guides? Yeah. The, Where'd you get them? 
Dude, I order them like when I first bought my car like four years ago. I ordered them right away. That's like one of those things you just buy because it's so cheap. Yeah, exactly. So you're like, and you know you're gonna need them. Yeah, they worked so good. I actually bought some from here. Damn, no, really? Had, like that long ago? I made a video about them and everything. Damn. You piece of I wanted man. to get TikTok famous so bad. Dude, it was I, I, I literally was like, auto collect storm bumper guides, make sure to go check out Faction Motorsports. Yeah. I loved selling the, their stuff. It was it was cool. Yeah. yeah well. And Roy built cool fucking cars. Oh like, yeah. Every car he did, the Cressida, all yeah. of his two forties, they were all so sick. The one dude, the one that was it the Super D event? Or was it another one? The green one. Oh yeah, when he came out like full GT style. Yeah, that shit was. Bro, sick. that was hard. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. I miss Super D, like Matsuri Cup. Like yeah. I miss the little cards they made for all the drivers. That yeah. shit was cool as hell. It was definitely cool. I mean, I'm sure they'll. I mean, I hope. Yeah. It'll come back, but I think it is. I think there's. Yeah, there's people yeah. talking about there's, that shit. It's in yeah. the works. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right. All right. Wait. Wait. But, wait. We gotta get like. What did you do to this thing, Ethan? <laughs> because I'm, I, I, I want to help. I want to help the people down and made it fit. I want to help the people that say like, sorry, I'm just randomly like sticking my finger in things and oh, Frankie's well, like, twitching with this like shit. I'm just yeah, to fix right. this mic stand. This is what you gotta do, bro. What what were you? What would you advise people who had a origin kit? If you got the fenders, start with the fenders first, and then make everything fit the fenders. That's okay, what I did. Damn. Okay, he started with the fenders. That's a good idea. To be honest with you, why did you do that? Start in and work uh, your way out. Because I bought the fenders first. Look into here. <laughs> Can you hear me? And yeah. honestly, the fenders are probably the not best fitting out of everything. Yeah. What? Yeah. It was that's how it always is. Yeah, it was like twisted and all weird. So I kind of just shoved it in place, took a self tapper, got like the bottom like against the car, and then worked the rest of it. And what did you heat it up and stuff and all that? No. Okay. Yeah. Like no heat gun. What's what? Over? No. Everyone says to heat gun fiberglass for a little bit. So like I never does. did it. Though. I do. <laughs> I did with Works Nine actually, and it fit. Better. Did the Works Nine fit well out of the box? Honestly, yeah. Like the rear bumper. I would assume it would. The rear bumper just fit perfect, and I used my factory mounts, which is terrible. Ooh, yeah. Like nice. I have the studs coming out of the the rear quarters. It's, yeah. Like if I hit anything, it's destroyed. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I do? Yeah. I done. I remove all that and I'll. Drill holes and I'll, I'll put zip ties through. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's on there, but if you do hit something hard, it's probably gonna break. It's but not gonna be on there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but but it's still on there, really secure. Yeah. So, but it's a pain in the ass to get off. It's yeah, it's such but, a fucking nightmare. Yeah, like if you need to get it off, then you're gonna spend thirty minutes taking off your bumper. Yeah. So wait, Ethan, I thought you I thought you heated it up this whole time. He uh, no, there's a lot yeah, of like he, extra I thought material. You, like, he... he put it in his no, air fryer. No, no, no. So. <laughs> There is a lot of extra material that was blocking it from fully sitting again, so I trimmed all that off. Oh. So I got it sit flush, and I used, like, all the tabs, dude, still on the car. And so it fits really flush against it. Wow. Yeah, the thing with Origin, like, uh, we're thinking about putting, like, a disclaimer out there because people, for some reason, go on our website. They see BN Sports for $2,800, and then they see Origin for $1,200, and they're like, well, that's got to fit just as well as... Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'm, like, and I'm the, like, literally, no. You yeah. can take that price and, and relate it to exactly what you're going to get. The and, thing is, the thing is that uh, when I was a young lad yeah. yesterday... Yeah, I was going to say. <clears throat> um, but I, I always thought that Origin... Was carried good? that... Was like really high quality? Yeah, no. it carried that like, I mean, I like notion... Yeah, that, yeah, no. like that too. this really? is yeah. origin labo. It never, know. it never was really high quality aero. I'm new to I S mean, chassis, so I don't know. It was always cheap aero, always. But and that's, I mean, and that's the point. It's supposed to be cheaper. It is, but it d don't get me wrong. It it is afford more, a little more affordable. But that doesn't, when you're comparing it to a proper fitting body kit, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm not the, talking about what you or someone can personally afford. Let yeah. it be known, yeah. Frankie is saying Origin is just Duraflex. No, <laughs> no, that's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> it's like it's like, I don't know. I'd have to, that's I'd have to see like how nah, shitty a Duraflex nah, nah, nah. kit the, is. The, the Duraflex comes with that black gel coat. It's a yeah, pain the, in the dick to fucking yeah. paint. I hate it. The yeah. thing with Origin is like. Awesome people run it. We've it's they're awesome designs. It is everywhere now. Exactly, it's very popular. Yeah. It's definitely popular in you know the certain style of cars that people build. Like uh, I don't know, front street guys. Dude, I would love an cars. IS Origin kit, man. I wish they made one. Yeah, <laughs> I really did. Someone make did. like a racing line Origin IS. 
That would be sick. I wanted that really badly, but I I don't have a random origin racing line <laughs> to be and to be honest, to chop up. The real shitty part is the shipping. It's not really like if you needed fenders or something, and we had them here, you can get them at factionmotorsports.com. Yeah, yeah, but like, and you could pick them up. Like, it's pretty convenient. You're gonna pay MSRP, which is gonna be like ten percent over the online price, but you're saving like three hundred fifty dollars in shipping. Yeah. So, yeah. and you could pick it up here. Isn't that the point? Yeah. You, I showed you in that tour. You guys want to hear something kind of autistic? I have homies <laughs> back in California that took, I think it was S14 Kuki uh, Origin Racing Line, molded it to E36. That sounds like some BMW molded shit. Molded it, it to E36. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Dude, you guys want to be S chassis I know. so bad. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's 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 just what I'm getting here. But I guess I, like I used to like make fun of that, but then now I'm thinking like, <laughs> well, they are a lot of money now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get a 240 until like this exact situation happened. Like, yeah. Some kid, some kid offered to trade uh, just NAKA S14 for either a bone stock E36 with 10 grand or like a fully done like all the parts thrown at it S52 E36, and I was like, I have that. So the kid was in Illinois, and uh, one of our mutual friends, Mason Kramer, commented on this and was like, this is dumb, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the comment, and I was like, this is dumb, please do it. <laughs> if you want to do this, let me know. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, I coordinated transport from uh, another homie, Matt, and uh, he drove from Illinois to California, dropped off the 240, took my E36, and brought it back to southern Illinois. You wow. mentioned Illinois. Okay, so this is in Illinois. Where, was this like during final bout? Was this a final bout affiliated thing? What were you doing? You over saw there? the picture of my purple and blue car, and though it was not a final bout car. No, no, no. I'm saying like why you're not from Illinois. That's a no, far. No, no, no. I, I just explained. One of my friends on Facebook commented on this post saying like, "Do not do this. This is a oh. dumb idea." And I encouraged the dumb idea. And like, dude, and I talked for a month, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, I'm down." Damn. So he had that shit. For a trade for a month, yeah, it was like it was listed for a while, and a, a bunch of other E36 dudes were like, "Dude, that's this is a crazy deal. Like, I should have done it." And I was like, "Get yeah. you to it, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> now I got a 240. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What year yeah, was yeah, Birdman? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me cook. Let me what, cook. No, 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 what no, year but, was the BMW? Uh, it was uh, it was '92. It was uh, OBD1 non Vanos, and I don't so basically traded '90s BMW for, for a '95 90s fucking. Shitty two. It was one shit box for another, <laughs> but like my car had the full PBM catalog. It had all the braces. Yeah. It had all the bushings, and uh, it was S fifty two. So it was cool. And like Bondo. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, this was like seventy thirty sixes later. Oh, I went through a lot. Of, yeah, we we skipped that part of the story. I had a convertible. Uh, the first car was a coupe, and then uh, I bought this car in Portland. It was a sedan. I got it for like three hundred dollars. Hell yeah. From some fucking middle of BFE home, and it was listed for like a thousand. And I was like, I brought three. Let's make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? We got, we got bargaining. We got my homie you Marcus's truck off, stuck in a fucking like ravine ditch with a trailer attached. A semi had to pull it out. Cops <laughs> came. It was crazy. It was a wild situation. <laughs> I ended up hey, three hundred bucks though, bro. Three hundred dollar E thirty six, but it was automatic, non Vanos, like. It, it was like the most bare bones. So OEM you were car. a Beamer guy. Yeah, unfortunately. And then what made you change? I've always wanted a 240, but I could never afford it. And E36 yeah. was like reasonably priced at the time, and they were like starting to make shit for them. So like it, for a while, it was just like road race parts and time yeah. attack shit. And then a lot of people realized like, hey, E36s can drift too. So... I, I kind of hopped on that bandwagon. I yeah. think I feel like it was it was one. It's a rear wheel drive car. Two. Yeah. It has the balance of a great road going. Like it was a great car. car. Yeah. Yeah. It was super sick. A lot of engineering went into that. Yeah. And then and then I feel like especially now with the obsession with grip and everything. Yeah. Like they have yeah, so yeah, much yeah, mechanical yeah, yeah, drift yeah, yeah, from yeah, factory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, uh, <laughs> call them <laughs> out. Call them out. What's our what, what, what Yo. friend of ours? Is it big, Yo, these big trailing trailing guys. Trailing, trailing yeah, arm guys. Trailing guys. Simmer it, son. Yeah. yeah. Tell them. Driving tell out like these little ass angles and shit, bro. Yo, tell them. <laughs> Come on, bro. Get that. Get that motherfucker side. He's talking about you, corn. <laughs> Wait, they what's up with the trailing arms? What? They're always talking about the trailing arms. These guys are grip chasing, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. That's because your car, dude. For some reason, what would cause this, Frankie? Don't ask me. There's no side bite in Ethan's car. I think he needs a factional alignment. It's better now. Before, $50 when you're on my car, guys, negative three degrees of camber. 
When we what? That would hurt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That now would do it's something. like kind of close to zero off of iPhone alignment. Oh, hey, yeah, the if old you, iPhone alignment? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, if you bring yeah. your car to Faction Motorsports, they'll iPhone align it for a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, down. I'm down. You guys got the new iPhones? Yeah. yeah. We got the Hunter yeah. iPhone alignment. Yeah. Did you, I didn't Damn. even get to show you guys out there, but the, the, the hey. whole eyebolt thing is like something that interests me so much because you can bring the car literally down. Yeah, we can see all the BMW you can trailing see what arm it benefits. does. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. It's it like shows the load of the car. Yeah, we That's just cool. thought of it one day. We're like, well, because I was like, I want to know. What's happening? Yeah. But how am I going to figure this out? And then I, we were like, hey, we were hanging people off the back. Yeah. And I was like, no, it's not Trying enough. to simulate weight and like yeah. bouncing on the car to settle it and shit. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, how about we just fucking put fucking D-rings on the, on the floor and we'll just fucking ratchet strap it. Ratchet strap it and, yeah. you know, just check it real quick and then loosen it. And yeah. I don't want to keep the fucking shocks like that. And but then the fucking car. Ba-ting! Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Hydraulics on that bitch. <laughs> we got, we got another thing coming for the... For the front end. Oh, so, yeah? What so you doing? What I'm, you doing? I'm not going to say anything yet because mm. people like to steal our ideas. Slather. So, yeah, we're going to let that go. But You got uh, people stealing ideas? Uh, borrowing our, our tactics. So, That's insane. Yeah. All of a sudden, bro acted like he wasn't on the 240 forums where everything was shared <laughs> in, from 2006. Not 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 that. I mean, we never saw anyone do that with an alignment yet till we did it. And then after we did it, we saw some people doing some stuff but no but i have a, another idea for the front end um as far as putting like imitating load on the front end and you'll see it'll make sense bro's building a formula drift shop dude wait cars. till i'm the driver i'm so ready <laughs> yeah that's, that's kind of sick though that would be cool yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah just over engineered street cars yeah 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 no it's cool i mean dude i used to like just fucking string align my car in my driveway yeah. definitely incorrectly too yeah. like 100 percent and and like, I would, dude, I wouldn't have an alignment for years. Yeah. Like, I don't get that. Years. The moment I get my car uh, aligned, and the moment that it's off, the moment it's off, I you know it's off. Yeah. See, Immediately. Like I, it's funny because I have this shop where we do alignments, but yeah. me personally, I never fucking Fair did enough. my alignment. I never noticed shit. Dude, just drive like, through it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I would do. <laughs> Put yeah. your purse down, drive through it. I can't. That's why I can't wait to get my car yeah. up and actually align it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. feel what it's like. Hell yeah, dude. Yo, so, my boy's horned up for. I have yeah. Chris fucking do my alignment, dude. Bro, yeah. I feel like the entire East Coast is horny for Frankie to drive his car. No, the whole United States actually is. <laughs> that's now. crazy. And most of the Philippines too. <laughs> a lot I mean, of the honestly, Philippines. Honestly, it makes me kind of nervous. A I wonder. Bit. If, yeah. I wonder if people in the <laughs> Philippines Show know this podcast yeah. Yeah. immediately. I'm yeah. like, damn. I hope this goes well. Fucking first lap out, <laughs> yeah. engine blows up. I'm like, okay. oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah. Parks that bitch. <laughs> oh my god. If yeah. you a don't you put that on me, Ricky uh, Bobby. SR22. I hate to say this and put this bad luck on me, but if that engine blew up, it honestly would be. Not that big of a deal to me. I would just redo it again. Bro, you said I was rich? Money bags over no, here. No, he just has patience. There's oh, yeah, there. I'll just do it again. But if my fu- if I crash, yeah, then I'm going to be fucking yeah, mad. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> the front end and all the shit we're doing, yeah. like, oh, my God, that would suck. It's like, but, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> knock on wood. I hope he happens. looked right at yeah. the ceiling like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little tear in his eye. <laughs> Pray to God. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to do things the safe way. I'm not going to drive a Tom Nazaro. Yeah. I'm going to you know, do different things. Well, you just blew up his SR again, so oh, you're fine, dude. Yo, man. Tom called me the other day. D- oh, That's really? one more he time. He called you? Yeah, that's one more time than you Did just you curse ever you had. off? No, actually, Nick called me. Of course. He- and then and then he I heard Tom in the background. Yeah. And then he was like, who the fuck are you talking? I'm like, who are you with? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's Tom. And I'm like. Got that it. fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, Tom's like Carl and Tom got me. beef. I don't know. Yeah, they've been had beef. Dude, yeah, it's be weird. Beefing hard. I don't know what's don't, going on yeah. with that. Fucking hates me, dude. <laughs> he knows that my car is about to be fast. <laughs> like Tom, Tom will be fast. here, and then Carl will walk in on Wednesday. Tom will just leave. Tom will just won't talk. He oh, will yeah. leave. Even better. Yeah. Actually, there was once where we had a little bit of a verbal altercation yeah. in the old office. Yeah. I was why? like, why, why don't you like me, dude? Yeah. You and then it went down. Him? Dude, Tom Damn, dude. punched me square in the <laughs> nose. <laughs> no, that's a legend. With his but... dick. No, I'm just kidding. Yo! You know? <laughs> just sniff the right, cheese. Let me get to some of these questions. Okay. <sighs> that was, I guess, a <laughs> That was too much. Um, I'm having way too much fun yeah, on this, but yeah. it's just like... No, no, no. I know. I want to let loose a little bit. 
um, and we're going to do that on the Patreon because I have some things I want to bring up. But God I feel like it's not oh, Carl's got some shit to say. Bro's oh. real loose. What? <laughs> Yo, his zipper's down. <laughs> really? <laughs> look at look. Holy shit! God damn. Let me see. Is there a lot? Let Is there see. a lot? Malcolm, did you look at the questions? I just looked. Let me see. I'm scared now. Jesus Christ. Rapid Most fire. questions we've ever gotten. Rapid, rapid, fire, fire, rapid fire, rapid, rapid fire, rapid fire. Holy fuck. You guys love Stevie. I do too. That sucks. Thank you. Is I've, one I've person? had a lot. Oh, okay. Tommy Hogue. To- Hogue. Tommy Hogue. Yo, happy birthday, Tom. Shout out, Tom. It's yeah. Every day is his birthday. What the? Any day, anytime we go <laughs> anywhere. We went to Chili's like 20 deep. Ooh. And he would, he went to take a piss. We're like, yo, waitress, it's his birthday. Oh, and he you came did back. The- he came back and he was like, yo, it's not my birthday. And we're like, he's fucking lying. I promise it's his birthday. It was not his birthday. He ended like he tried to play it off for someone else. Like, it's actually his birthday. Oh God. Everywhere we go. I'm going to give you this is insane. A few seconds for each of these to answer. You're gonna have to pick, dude. There's too many. Give me top five. First, I need to give We'll give you top ten. Alan Kyle, uh, uh, I need to tell Alan Kyle's a lot lizard story because Alan Kyle got his uh, CDL. And he Give everybody a hand. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Can congrats, we get a, uh, a clap? He's congrats, Kyle. Maybe you'll have some money now. I asked him. <laughs> it's Alan, not Kyle. Oh, I mean Alan. I asked Alan. I'm I was like, at it. you ever see a... Uh, you know. Yeah, the yeah, Yao means. <laughs> yeah. He's about little. to. And then I said, he said, nah. And then uh, he said... He saw a Tahoe going uh, 80 miles an hour where the hood flew up. I was like, oh, okay, Hell cool. Yeah. That's cool. But then he said he had somebody take a lady of the night from outside of the terminal and bring him into the courtesy car. Fuck her in the car, then proceed to the yard, fuck her in his truck, where they have high-quality camera and microphone for the whole Insane. gang to hear. Bro oh filmed my an God. OnlyFans Dirty set Mike in, in the, the truck. For free. Um, okay, so that's that's Alan. Okay, here's another. Here's He's a, here's an actual one from Alan. Okay, where did you find your car styling, and what inspires your wheel choice? Good question. Um, so in Portland, I lived with Jake Rio, and he beat that into me that like your car has to look. Rest good. in peace, Jake Rio. Yeah, by the shout way. out Jake. Rest in peace. Now things make a lot more sense. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, that. now yeah. only that an was hour like, and a half into the podcast. That was yeah. my dog. Like now things make a lot more sense with the car. And yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, yeah. that like, must have been the tough, works. Dude. Nine was Fuck. kind of like an homage. Like I was, I, was, I don't know. I yeah. wanted, I wanted. Except to his that. was the better looking. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Koki works his nine was over. The Zanky pinnacle by of trade. Like yeah, goddamn, yeah, style. But yeah, so he kind of just beat that into me. Plus, like. Growing up with Super D when all the cars were low and, like, not comp-based, it was cool. Like, mm. cool seeing all of Animal Style and shit yeah. slammed. I agree. I miss it. Yeah, it was a good time. Zenki over Kooky. I think so, just because everyone everyone does, like, Kooky on no, no, no. Masters. No, no, no. Zenki que- over Kooky question mark. Like, I'm not saying Zenki over Kooky is key, because Kooky's over Zenki. I don't understand the question. Yeah, you Which one me. would you yeah. choose? Zenki. I have a Zenki. I know, but sometimes... No. Thank you. You don't ever just want a Koki? No. God, that Are you Mormon yet? <laughs> 16 wives and counting, baby. Okay. Nah, ain't no way. <laughs> no, That's on no, Tommy. No, 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 no. Some, of these, are, some of these are Patreon questions, actually. Yeah, we could rip yeah. some of these on the Patreon. I'm yeah. going to take all of the inappropriate ones, and we're going to ask them on the Patreon. Sick. Yeah. Um, yeah, like the story ones. When are y'all actually going to drive Club Loose? You actually want to? I come, do. Come store so, your car down here, bro. Uh, I just sold like, him on it over there, by yeah. the way. When I was like, yo, I, look at this. You when didn't tell I built the price yet. Yeah, that's why No, I did. Nah, he did, and I was kind of inclined to do it. Let's but do it. I'm ah. kind of down, but I also wanted to, like, I told myself when I tripled the car, I want to do one big event a year. So, like, this year I want to go drive US Air at one of the events, like a D-Day or, like, Rio Bash or something. Mm-hmm. Um and next year, I kind of like, after talking with you guys in the Discord, I fucking want to drive Mid Pond. Like, I'll raise my car. And drive mid pond. My car was low, and so was Jack Dunlap. No, don't Jack raise Dunlap. your car, though. Yeah, but we were just all you would hear. No, is, you oh, can raise it a little. <laughs> yeah, like a, like a quarter a quarter inch in the front, so I can run like a little bit bigger of a tire. Oh, that's not. No, it's it. fine. It's just, what do you have yeah. on the front now? Like a two twenty five. Uh, I mean, that's a good size. Yeah, it's fine. It's a two twenty five on a nine. That's you're even, asking that's me, fine. that's a good size. Yeah, that's, but, yeah. yeah, it's not bad. If you're asking Josh to lose, you're just. But like everyone, everyone in my area is. 
like jacked front, I can fist the tire and fender gap. So That's it's sad. it sucks. And like I'm excited to bring my car to events just to be like, you can do this. This yeah. is an option. Like yeah, this is could, an option. You could be cool. Yeah. Or you could look like a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> God the damn. Cho- the choice is G-boo. yours. Jibu. Yeah, for G-boo. real Jibu. Do you know what Jibu is? No. Oh, we're talking about it on Patreon. Yeah, you know, yeah. Whoa, Jibu. Yeah, Jibu, Bansom, you know. Baby. Shout yeah, out to yeah, 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 yeah. Jibu. I feel bad yeah. for the listeners. We're gatekeeping everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jibu. <laughs> yeah. If you were Jibu'd up, you'd be fucking here in a Patreon, Bro, too. For real. <laughs> Now, if I was G-boot up, I'd have real big lips on the front of my car instead of tiny courage. <laughs> Jet, Jet Davis asks, what's your best drifting memory? Probably the first, like the, the story I told you guys about going to Medford. I, I didn't finish that story, but I showed up. I left my house at 2 a.m. I got there at 10 a.m. I cracked two fucking beers and drove for like 16 hours the entire weekend. I drove Bash 2 Bash 2 Future. Mm. I think it was 2014 or 15. And, like, I just, that is so ingrained in my brain, like, tandem of die, yeah, hurt, yeah. like, that's when shit was cool, and, like, everyone was slammed, and yeah. and I was just an idiot, and I was like, fuck, this is sick, and just, like, absorbing it all, but. I saw Justin Shreve was getting his car worked mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I not that's, tell you this guy knew him? The homies, houseboat boys are helping him build that shit, it's gonna be sick. Yeah, I'm I excited. hope it stays that, as low as it is, And uh, Nate, Nate's car is getting back together, it's, yeah. uh. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Like all the dudes in we need the revival Walla. of the low yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm saying like everyone wants to lift the front of their car and do like comp style. And like, yes, I get it. You drive faster, you drive cooler. But like, there's the some feeling about just dragging your nuts across a road <laughs> reflector on the freeway <laughs> and getting spinal compression. I don't know. It's you just know what's this funny? Euphoric feeling. You know what's funny is during that whole time you're selling me a little bit, and and now my brain is, bro. And and guess what? You gotta Grow keep up. this guy. I started. I started Grow to. Up. He's on a thin line right now. Dude. I started to. He's like big one J guy, and then he's like, yeah, I'm gonna run a two sixty five in the back. Yeah, Nobody said nothing about that. But I. But I already had. He's like, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna squat. I'm like, ew. I had a Carolina squat in the IS three hundred. I had an idea and a vision in my head just now while we were talking about that, where I was like, yeah, you know what? One day I'm going to pull up here and that thing's going to be on the fucking ground. Bro, if he ever the... leaves his car here, I'm going to put fucking 20k springs in the rear so he can't squat. Yes. <laughs> all, <laughs> all of the cool IS 300s are slammed. Shout out Danner. That yeah, shit, literally his all car the good was ones. fucking sick. Dude, I like a good looking, good performing car. I it think Carl's on good. the same page as me as far as height things, but I do think he likes to squat thing to, too much. He likes to I tiptoe like it in a the, little bit. Yeah. Gray area I like to take bit. a little bit from each. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but you can't really curious. do that. He's bi curious. We'll just leave it at that. It's because yeah. yeah. one <laughs> ear right here, I have Josh. One uh, yeah, ear, that's what it is. I yeah. have Frankie. It's Josh being in his ear. That's the problem. Nah, and, Josh, and Josh is, is a smart guy. I love listening to Smart guy. Like he got third place at LZ Invitational with an SR20. And yeah, that's, that's all the fucking that's announcer sick. said. This guy with the SR20, like I hated that the whole, <laughs> yeah. like the entire time. I was just like, "Fuck you guys, dude. Sorry, it's not an LS." First of all, he was, was second at the Gambler. Was he? Yeah. yeah. Don't get it twisted. That was a no, good. The, was, was, the, I was talking about the uh, Invitational. Yeah, I remember that. The, yeah, that, that was, one, or, everyone no, was watching. It was this, that bro? Shit. Yeah, that, I was watching that shit. Like I was at work and I was like, I, I think at I the at figure work. eight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got second. I'm pretty sure. Second, wasn't it? No, he got was third. It third? Oh, no, maybe. I think he did maybe. get second place. It was second because Josh was, was like, it, it's always Hamilton second. win or Where? something? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think Adam LZ was third. Yeah. Bro, yeah, imagine yeah, yeah, beating yeah, you're right, you're the right. dude. Oh, the, only, the only thing that matters from that entire event is Aaron Losey totaled his car. Yeah, that's, I remember that. That's shit, it. Yeah. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, and dude, Josh he got did. Second. On, but, like, turn two. Right up on the bank right dude, there by the Josh there. won that shit. That would have been crazy. That would have been insane. Dude, you would have skyrocketed yeah. our SR. But like places. I just hated that the announcers the entire time just kept like pinpointing that he had an SR. Well that's good though. And, like, yeah, it's great, but like yeah. not that Josh is a good driver. It's oh, like you know, yeah. they kind of just like pointed to that and alluded that like, oh, this little SR that could like it's I mean, a good it's, fucking motor if you treat it right. Yeah, but those guys aren't used to seeing that no, probably. Yeah, I don't know who was announcing, but I think it was like I don't know. Probably it's people drift, that are involved in comp shit. Drift Games guy from where? Oh yeah, who is a pretty awesome guy. I think we yeah, met him. Yeah, he's at. got a lot of cool shit. But like, did we I meet think... him at SEMA, Melvin? 
Yeah. I think he was just catering to the LZ fan base, which sucks. Yeah. Like, it's like the Hoonigan theory. Well, LZ fan base could they be into SR SRs. They sell SR shirts at Zoomies yeah, they could. now. Yeah. Because like, Adam was into... Uh, I mean, yeah. he's still in SRs. So yeah. Like his, still his tan car. Look, like, it whatever. could be worse. Could be it could be worse. He could yeah. be 5'3". Yeah. Josh, you should go 5'3", just for the jokes. I actually... Think he's still going to? I do think he's going to go five LS. three. What five three LS? I do think he's going to go. No, LS. he's GM truck. You motor. saw his picture the other day. Me, me and Ethan. He was like, there. he was like, pulling this out. I did this exactly a year ago, and yeah. one year ago, I remember him going, "I'm pulling this out. I'm pulling an LS in here." I, I do think he's going to do eventually. Um, next question, next Elijah question. Blue. This is my boy from Hawaii. Sick. Shout out Elijah. What really grinds your gears about the car scene these days? Let me see you get mad, Stevie. What, what gets Dude. you mad? Full circle back to Kansas style. I don't know. It's just like <laughs> people using the excuse to have bad cars as progression. Progression? Like, what like, do you mean? Like so that whole uh, the breaking Instagram post where uh-huh. every like broke a canard on my boy's car today. <laughs> like, Holy you know, fuck. you know that whole post. No, 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 no. But like I'm saying, that was the that, craziest internet. Do you remember? I do you know what he's talking about? That yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a valid that. like. I'm not vouching 100% that I think that way, but, like, you don't have to have a fucking missile car. Like, the same theory about Utah drifting in general. You don't have to have a butt-ugly-ass car to drive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, that and, like... No, no one... Af- <laughs> I have to save it on my computer somewhere. It was a, Z- it was a signature in someone's Zilvia uh, name or whatever, and it said, drifting is not an excuse to have a shitty car. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Like, I mean, I got into drifting because it was the cheapest form of motorsports at the time. Yeah, this is why a lot of people did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, like, it was the cheapest way to get on track. Like, I had a very outdated helmet that was from 1992 before I was born. And, like, I just wanted to go drive. And that was <laughs> New Jersey, you just, just so you know, in New Jersey, no. Well, yeah. I drove a skid pad in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> so it was fine. These questions are insane. They're amazing. I can't wait to answer them in a little while. You know a lot of people. A lot of people know me. Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. Uh, no, but yeah, for real. Like honestly, it's all just like internet friends. Just doing shit and meeting people and seeing other people that are like minded and you're like, damn, that's cool. I'm gonna hit this person up and like, I don't know, yeah. either pick their brain or like talk to them about shit, shoot the shit with them. Yeah. That's very awesome. awesome. G boo win. G boo win. You can't keep bringing to something up that no one knows. Dude, everyone knows. If you know, you know. Favorite Texas team. You better say it. Look at the hat, baby. Look at the hat. Shout out my boy Mike. Look at the hat. Fat Cats. Yes, sir. Good merch. Check their merch out. Good merch. HFAB JZX asks, yo, why Stevie look mad breedable? Bro, I am bred. Look at me. <laughs> Six months. Yeah. And with that, I want to say that we're probably going to cut this into the next Patreon section. Damn, guys. that's it, Carl? Damn, Damn. Dude, because Hold some up, of me, these are me, really fucking... No, 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 no. Because no. I'm going to ask you some of these right off the rip as Damn. we cut into the next I'm going to ask a couple more. A couple more. Okay, right. okay. You ask him a couple more. I'm going to thank our listeners for listening this far. Um, <laughs> Thanks for making it this far. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry for We said we were going to cut this off at literally 45 minutes. All right, we're taking a vote. Who dips their bacon in syrup? What the fuck? Was that Austin Jen? That sounds like a Canadian thing to ask. No. Hi, Austin. (sighs) I mess around with that at the end. I'm taking a vote. (laughs) I don't do it. Carl. No. Would you you dip bacon in syrup? (laughs) No, 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 no. no. Yeah, probably not. Three. What? You ever dip sausage in syrup? So you would do it. Yeah, you would would do it. It's got to be one. Yeah, that shit's good as hell. So two and five. Hell Three yeah, to two. Baby. Wasn't it two? <coughs> I'm no. Yeah, we, we are no. Yeah, but there's, and I'm saying there's five of us here. Two and five people. That's the Two sample. and five people said yes. That's the same. Yo, you want to hear yeah. something crazy? That's in no. my In my office upstairs, there's like 15 people. Of those 15 people, one person knew who T-Pain was. What? They are all so fucking Mormon at my job. <laughs> it's insane. Can we so, get T Pain in here? What's going I'm on? Trying, with that? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Don't you Wait, know him? Ask him. I don't. I would like to ask him the questions because yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. ask him some of the more fucking. I'm asking the serious. Let ones me that read. I can ask. Let me read him a, a crazy one. Crazy style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a question. Give me a question. Crazy style. Jameson. Jamo. Jamo. Shout uh, out. Shout out. Jamo. Jamo's <laughs> killing it. Isn't Jamo Filipino? 
Yeah, so. pa- his, yo, I'm not going to say his whole last name. Yo, if he does need a job, bro. <laughs> Don't say wait, it too loud because this guy. Here, J- he JB, asked, JB Fiberglass son or KBD daughter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Connor, Neither. Connor, why did they steal my foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I had that sticker on my mirror on my E36 for the longest time. And anytime <laughs> I got pulled over, a cop would look down like, it's on the fucking driver's side mirror. So he'd just look down and read it. And, like, you'd see him squinting like, son, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, that's a real friend. That's a real text my friend sent. <laughs> Dude. They, let, me go, let me go take a piss. All right, yeah. I'll ask one. Um, thoughts on new FD rules? I, oh. I don't know. I don't follow. Yeah. I don't like. I know what they're talking about. They t- oh, the they new like some, judging. They're not doing. They're the qualifying. Qualifying. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're just trying to shoot fish in the barrel to get people to watch it. Yes, that's exactly what that is. And so, like, cool. But <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I. I don't know. I don't know enough about it to really say it. But yeah. Right off the bat, I'm like, that's lame. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird. Like, it doesn't give the driver the opportunity to practice yeah. they want. So, and like, a, seeing a sick qualifying run was kind of more fun. Than yeah, even. bro. Like, yeah. dude throws down a hundred point run, yeah. and you're like, yeah. "Holy fuck, that's you're, wild!" Yeah, you're amped up. You're yeah, like, "Okay, exactly. this is gonna be sick." Because what the fuck's this guy gonna do in yeah. tandem? But now they're catering towards like the TikTok crowd. Of, like, yeah, they just want as many, yeah, as much action as they can. So, whatever. <laughs> Maybe we can have a, a FD guy in here to explain that more and, and go to the DDoS more. system. What? Go to the uh, D1GP, like DDoS computer I, system. What the fuck? I don't know anything about yeah, this. Yeah, bro. They How like, crazy is it? It's pretty wild. They've been doing it for a while now, too. I think a couple years. Oh I don't know. God. I'm not brushed up on that, but yeah, I know that they, they use like the geometry of the car and like whatnot. What to, it's fuck? fucking nuts. You should look into it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I, I if you ever get a that. wild hair up your ass to look up FD rules. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't. Yeah, um, good. Malcolm, can you juggle porcupines? I could try. Okay. That's Beastie Boy asking. <laughs> yeah. Um, the real JDM Will says you should do a live pod while cooking a nice hot pot on that sweet table. Okay. Ooh, it's yeah. a good way to stain the table. Yeah, but it sounds good, though. Yeah, I'm down. Um, all right. So, Carl, we're we're good to go. We could end it here. And I mean, it, this, this one was a little shorter. Uh, sorry, guys. We, ran, we We showed up late as fuck. Yeah. Took yeah, the words sorry. out of my mouth. So. They really fucking did. Yeah. yeah. But thank you guys so much for coming. We're going to cut this into the next portion. This is a where really we good podcast, by the way. Let Thanks. loose a little yeah. bit. You got a good Thank you for story having me. I appreciate voice. you guys. This Thanks. was this was a really, like, very impromptu opportunity. And I'm, yeah. I'm just glad We it planned happened. this hey, two we, weeks ago. We have drifters <laughs> on here all the time. So yeah. Carl yeah. was like, oh, can my friend? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, does, I go, does he drift? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. yeah. And then he said, yeah. But and then I, I saw it, your car and I was like, yeah, what are I we made doing? It, yeah. I, made it seem, I made it seem like I told you a lot of bad stuff about Stevie. Yeah, he's over here like, he was bro, really Frankie's like, amped to meet you. And I was like, bro, what the he fuck He was really you like you? underselling you. He was like, yeah, he, I, we need to just do a Q&A. I mean, to be fair, no. I don't drift that often. I'll yeah, do whatever. Like three or four events a year now. And I don't drift ever, so yeah. there's that. Yeah, we're in the same boat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're good. But uh, no, thanks. Thanks for coming. Hey, out. real question: Whose car is going to be finished before Carl. each other? No, hundred percent. Frankie or mine? Oh, I just got to do a head gasket. Shit. Yours? Probably not. Well, Let's I don't be know, real. Dude. I think yours. Uh, I work on it like one Sunday a month. I, I hope my car's done soon, but no, nah, yeah. I'm going to try to finish it before the end of the, the month. So. Thank you so much. If you guys, if this is where your journey ends, consider subscribing to the Patreon where we are going to continue the conversation and the vibes. And uh, we're going to skin Carl live <laughs> on the Patreon. <laughs> so be sure to tap in. <laughs> I'm going to wear them like a Ethan's going to take a layer down on his clothing. And we just, yeah. uh, we set something up on the Patreon too recently, which is uh, if you guys are members of the Patreon, you can actually get all of your, uh, all of our podcasts ad free now on like your apps, oh, your sick. listening apps. What? Dude, this is yeah. for real the JRE. This is better than a JRE. We're going to show his head. Oh, they don't even do that. Yeah. yeah. That's some next level thinking. I didn't yeah. even know. So they monetize the fuck out of that. Yeah. It so, sucks. So if you're on a Patreon, if you if you're a member, you don't get ads anymore. You know what's crazy for JRE? I I uh actually I'm going to come up I'm going to say the uh, hack in the uh, other part. Malcolm, you want to send us off? <laughs> Ethan, do, are you going to say bye to anybody? Bye, Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Diego. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Thank you guys so much. See you on the Patreon. Thanks.
Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Steve, Stevie, Steely, Steely Tooth. Yeah. Steely Tooth on Instagram. Yeah. At Fun guy. Steely Tooth. Make sure you check out uh, his Instagram. Um, a lot of funny things on here. The pictures of him and his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah. I don't know if they were. Go- I don't know what they were going for here, but I think they're uh, going for that old uh, like Macy's photo shoot y- type thing. Yeah, it's it's pretty perfect. Uh, yeah, check his Instagram out. Um, and uh, let us know what you guys thought about that that episode. That was one of. I mean, that, Carl never <laughs> brings guests on here. Yeah. Because we're always a little scared. Yeah. But uh, that one was. I mean, that was like the best one. Yeah, good job, Carl. Yeah, good job, Carl. That was uh, that was a great podcast, and yeah. uh, we didn't know what to expect because Carl was like, "Yeah, you know, he's just a, it's just a friend of mine, and you know, he's, no one really knows him, this and that." I'm like, "Carl, yeah. I don't care if anyone does. He drift. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Like, we've brought plenty of people on here that just drift. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, if you guys want more of it, we did another half hour to an hour on the Patreon. Yeah, another hour on the Patreon. Yeah. yeah. So, uh. Dude, that was nice. That was nice, relaxing. Yeah, was I drank chocolate milk. Yeah, things got weird. Yeah, you got a little drunk off that chocolate. Yeah, I got chocolate drunk. It was uh, it was pretty fun. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to check that out, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon, where you will also get ad free podcasts. Yes, which is a new ad free listening. Yeah, from here on out, we'll be uploading ad free episodes uh, to the Patreon. Yeah, so if you're a member of the Patreon and you link it to your Spotify which is, seems pretty easy. Um, then you just, you go on your Spotify, you have ad-free listening. Oh, that's how it works? Yeah. Oh. Or or if you're on Apple or something like that, it's the same thing. I didn't so, know that. Yeah, Eddie figured it all out because he's a genius. So. It's cool. Yeah. Um, and it's it's easy because he he has a, he has a Patreon account. So oh, we can cool. just see if it's working. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's that. What else we got going on? Uh, we do have our new merch available. The we call it the Worldwide Collection, Faction Worldwide. Uh, new black shirts, light gray shirts, and black hoodies. They're very nice, very comfortable. And if you want to support us, please give us a uh, an order. Yeah. 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 I would like to eat things other than ramen this week. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been. Uh, We've been slaving these past couple weeks, you know, getting the new shop done and stuff. Yeah, if people who've come here and s- not many people have came here and seen anything yet, but the people who have come here and seen it are they seem pretty excited. Yeah, so that's good. I can't wait to see it all finished. Yeah, we got we're doing floors next week, so the shop is gonna have to get cleared out. We're gonna be doing a lot of a lot of moving things around in the next yes. two weeks. And if you would like to bring your car in for some work or service, please let us know ASAP because. Uh, one of these days or weeks, we're going to be closed for, you know, for these renovations. So let us know. Yeah. So definitely shoot us an email and get that set up as soon as possible. Um, guys, if you haven't already, if you're listening to this podcast every single day on your way to work, can you leave us a review? Yeah. It's not that hard. How many are we up to now? I haven't even checked. Um, I don't know. Maybe like 250 on Spotify. Oh, wow. I would hope somewhere around there, which is amazing. The, the guy's who have done that thank you because uh when you look at other podcasts no one really leaves reviews yeah because because they never ask but yeah yeah, reviews are the only thing that will help us get bumped up in the algorithm really uh other than downloads so uh which is just a listen uh yeah so other than listening to our podcast the only other two ways you can really support it is the patreon or leaving us a review so uh please do that on any whichever listening you know device you're using app app you're using <laughs> not device and don't forget to give us a subscribe on youtube follow us on instagram i mean do we we have facebook right yeah we kind of yeah we kind of update the facebook with uh instagram stuff uh we're everywhere check us out well the youtube is especially important because we're posting a video every week yes shout so. out to eddie also Yep. He also shoots our Patreon videos. He's he's been making uh, uh, YouTube videos as well for us. And we're we're trying to do you know trying to get into the vlog life every Monday. Uh, it's tough. These 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 videos are tough. The last one's gonna be funny though. Yeah. Is that tomorrow, or 
Yeah, that's coming out tomorrow, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think maybe. So. I don't know. We'll see. There's a vlog being released on YouTube tomorrow or next week. Um, Sorry. But yeah, that one's gonna be good too. Nice. Uh, well, anything added to the website lately? Good question. Now that we're doing this without computers in front of us, it's a little harder to yeah <laughs> remember. Well, I did want to talk about one thing. Uh, FRS and BRZ owners, GK Tech just released uh, five five by one fourteen point three hubs, the conversion hubs. Um, apparently, these have been missing in the industry for a little bit because someone went out of business or something. Oh. Um, but yeah, we're gonna probably be buying these in the next hour or so and getting them here in stock. So if you guys need your hubs converted, let us know. If you need to pick up the parts and do it yourself, let us know. We are trying to keep more things on the shelf here, so. What luck pattern does the car come in? Five by a hundred. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. It's Subaru does that occasionally, but they, the thing is, they stopped doing that with like WRXs in 2015. So now the BRC is the only one that comes with the five yeah, by a hundred. That's odd. Yeah, I don't know why they do it, but uh, yeah, if you guys want a better selection of wheels, you're gonna have to do that uh, hub conversion. So let us know. We're gonna be ordering that stuff. I'm pretty sure it comes with brake rotors, and the brake rotors look pretty good. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because you need rotors to to do the swap. So, yeah, not looking forward to buying all that, but <laughs> I guess we have to do it. Uh, guys, if you're looking for aero, I got bad news. Um, origin parts not looking too good for the next f four to six months. Yeah, it looks like everything's. Uh, reserved or yeah. pre-sold whatever yeah nothing's coming in guys so i mean you might get lucky with fenders uh or wings but as far as full body kits you you're you're pretty screwed so if you haven't already contact us immediately tell us what you need we'll tell you if we can get it uh worst case scenario you're gonna be waiting six months so yeah, so end of summer around there yeah so uh jump on that stuff as soon as possible and if you if we if it is out of stock we do have a ship from japan option uh, it's more money, but we can get it shipped directly from Japan so you don't have to wait for the origin container. The only downside is we can't do full kits right now, so... But yes, fenders, yeah. wings, anything like that, hoods, hoods especially. I'm really pushing the hood thing because Origin USA does not bring in hoods unless you pre-order it. Yeah, special order only. Yeah, so if you want a hood and you want it quick, you gotta use the ship from Japan option on our website. I guess that's it for now. Uh, we could keep going with other stuff we're doing here but try to keep this outro a little shorter than usual uh like we said earlier um thanks steve and if you guys want more of that it's on the patreon so go check it out yeah thanks for listening bye later